Hello and welcome to HBFT Gaming. I'm HBFT and we are back again with King Arthur Knight's Tale. I gotta say that I'm really, really excited about King Arthur and Knight's Tale. I have been thoroughly enjoying the potential that it seems to present and we are going to be finishing up our early access experience today. And I just cannot wait until it actually comes out. We're gonna be able to get into the full game and check out a few things. But before we get back into it, let's just go ahead and see and take a look at where we're at right now. So we're just gonna back it up just a little bit. And we'll start by taking a look at all of our characters. Currently, we just expanded our access to the number of characters that we've got available. Uh, we've got the glorious, glorious Sir Mordred himself, the root of all evil. Although it seems that the game does allow him to actively move towards uh, the lighter side. But in this case, uh, we decided to go full evil and eventually even align ourselves with the old faith instead of Christianity, which in the full game, of course, would allow us to eventually unlock Morgan Le Fay herself. So that's really freaking cool. We've also got Sir K or DK, as some of the bunnies would say. We've got Sir Yvain, who's a brand new archer. We've also got Sir Peleus. They've all got different skills. It seems like Sir Peleus, I've been taking a look at some of his skills, and it seems like he has the ability to actually increase the armor of all those around him, allowing them to stand steadfast and firm in the middle of battle. And then, of course, we've got Sir Balin with his giant war axe and his ability to get through and just charge people with power attacks. Uh, but he's currently injured. And we've got Lady Dindrin, the very, very original archer with incredible Overwatch capabilities. So overall, really, really excited about our ability to use all of them in battle. And we're going to be checking out these two for the very first time. So it's going to be pretty freaking awesome, yeah? So obviously, here we are. We're in the middle of Camelot. Uh, we've got our hospice. We've got Lady Dendron, like we said previously, who's currently in here trying to heal some of her injuries. But of course, Sir Balin took quite a beating, so he's got an infected wound and he's bruised. Uh, we're going to try and make sure that he gets back into battle on the next one. But in the meantime, we've got our two level ones, our brand new Sir Peleus and Sir Yvain. Uh, I do want to point out that with the merchant, obviously kind of similar to the black market, that they have sell they sell a whole lot of stuff, including these incredible i'm gonna just call them epic level gear uh, obviously that that will cost a lot that's 1500 gold we don't have that we ended up selling all of our stuff at the end of the last stream and i was tempted we were so close at 1460 or so gold allowing us to get some of these really really good items but overall it seemed like we were generally lacking in equipment so it seemed like a better idea to try and uh, just get more rather like quantity over quality at least for now as we kind of suss out the later quest here yeah and uh what, what have i got here i'm i've totally missed so much i'm so sorry i'm not blessed i keep working to keep it that way valheim oh valheim you know i did hear the bunnies talk about valheim i haven't tried it at all i've only heard that it's like an adult version of minecraft out right yeah hey welcome tack welcome 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 you're joining us right now we are just getting into the last bit of um of king arthur knight's tale i do want to point out that we don't have we probably don't have enough content for the entire stream so at some point i'm going to switch over to another game that i'm really excited to check out so that'll be kind of fun yeah hey to beer welcome videlheim <laughs> yeah no worries no worries so bum the new content didn't come out today uh, for which one over oh, here was it supposed to come out soon lucky you should drink your head to fit within one of the portrait boxes heck yes heck yes I must have missed the stream of this game. So many characters that I do not remember. No, actually, they just appeared right at the very end of the last stream superior. So you really didn't miss one at all. Yeah. Did Balin take an arrow to the knee? He took. I'm pretty sure he took a ballista to the knee. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he took a ballista and welcome DK. No HB, no black market. No, the black market's amazing. Trust me. So, Twizzlers. Heck yes. So buddies, here's the thing. Obviously, we have been limited in what we can undertake. You can see that currently, right after that last mission at the end of the last stream, we've unlocked multiple side missions. Uh, the only one that we cannot do right now is called the Bridge of Sorrow. From what I understand in this story, it seems like the undead King Arthur is on the other side of the Bridge of Sorrow, but this is not available in this version. So we pretty much have three side missions to try. Uh, out, out of all of that, in case you missed it, we also have a morality chart, which is pretty freaking cool. You can see that it has two different axes. The vertical Y axis is opposed for your sort of like your 
stereotypical paragon of nobility versus going the tyrant route, which we chose. So you can see that our target is going down the tyrant route in the choices that we make. And you can see the events that have driven us towards that direction. As far as Christianity on the right versus old faith on the left, you'll notice that we can unlock people like Morgan Le Fay uh, versus Sir Galahad or Sir Lancelot or the Red Knight. I think if we are lucky, if we have enough tyrant decisions, we might just be able to unlock the Black Knight in early access. I think that would be really incredible if we can unlock a new, brand new character. I, I'm really, really excited about that. So overall, really, really cool morality chart. They've got a ton of systems available to them. Out of all of the options right now, I kind of want to leave Brookdale for last because from what I understand, here's the Bridge of Sorrow. The undead King Arthur is supposed to be on the other side, so it's very possible that we might catch a glimpse of him right at before we have to end our demo, right? So we've got the Island of the Shrine, and then we're going to head into that one there. You all know me by now. Time for some whiskey. Well, pros in the Heck yes, Lumina. The black market being amazing is exactly what we're afraid <laughs> Well, you know what? The black market is one of the only things that will accelerate our progress towards having gear for all the bunnies. Yeah, don't make <laughs> don't make Lumen a drink alone. Oh, my goodness. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate the redemption joke. All right. Well, if Lumen is going to drink alone, uh, we, we can't have that. So I'll give you one. Give me one moment. If, as you can see right here, uh, this is it's all a green screen. So I got to go behind the fourth wall right now. So give me one moment. I kept the whiskey on the other side of the green screen. What can I say? You broke the stream. <laughs> Morality chart, you mean awesome bad guy and those other losers. Hey, served. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're having a great, great Tuesday. Fourth wall, more like a fifth wall. Am I? <laughs> it is the fifth wall in this establishment right now. Well, thank you so much for the redemption of the soothing stuff. Bunnies, I gotta say, I'm gonna be perfectly honest for you, honest with you. Um, uh, I and it's a little difficult to say because I kind of see my place here as as uh, providing an uplifting experience, and I, re I really want to continue to do that. I, I just want to apologize. Um, I've been a, I I gotta say I've I've been kind of depressed. I, I stuff has happened that has kind of left me like uh, a little all over the place. So my apologies if that's the case. But you know what? I'm just excited to be around with all of you. And by the way. Prost to you and Nastrovie. I guess. All right. So here we go. Against the darkness, how fitting, of course. Out in the wilderness, there are still some flickering lights that battle the encroaching darkness. I've heard about the lonely settlements in the woods trying to fight the marauders all on their own. An admirable but foolish act of heroism. They are weak and they will perish unless I help them out. As I need villages to rebuild the realm, this might be their lucky day. So here we are heading on over to the island of the shrine. You can see we're going to use our four uninjured companions. Let's freaking go. Hey there, Harry. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm good. Thank you. Yourself? Hey, heck yes. Well, by the way, Harry, I'm really, really excited to check out your release candidate. I'm thinking that you are so close so finally getting it out to all the bunnies who have so desperately wanted to play your your latest release, yeah? Oh, heck yes. Lucky, thank you so Cheers. much for the resub for four months. That's incredible, man. Where's our lord and savior, HypnoCube? He's behind the green screen, behind the green screen. Yeah, no worries, Joe. Just enjoy your time here. Always keep the head up. You've got it. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, bunnies. When is the new mod update? Well, that's, that's for Harry to decide. All right, bunnies, so here we are. We're going to take a look at, uh, let's see, we've got our archer in the back line. I don't know if it really makes sense to have a set like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this. You can see that we can adjust our formation here. We're going to have our archer in the back. We've got shields to the right. We kind of got a softer side over here. And uh, let's go ahead and close this up and we'll move on forward. So you can see on the right, I love the fact that you can really, really get in there. This is really cool. It seems like Sir Vane actually, he's got like a pickaxe or something or like a, a war axe. And we've also got ourselves another tank. So another shield is going to be awesome. As you can see, DK, I mean, Sir K over here is ready for battle. Yeah, no worries, sir. Thank you. Well, I appreciate it, Superior. 
Oh, we got money. Oh, we didn't start a new campaign. This is a side quest right now, sir. We're trying to help out the poor and defenseless against the marauders, yeah? They make holes in the heads. I hear they're very, very good for puncturing through armor, yeah? Oh, is this the end? All right, we've got... So we have one deployment zone, which means we're about to get into a battle. So we want to go ahead and suss out all the deployment zones because it allows us to deploy to different locations. You can see we've got an archer. This would be a great place to put DK. He's a bit of a barbarian. <laughs> yes, he is. Oh my God, piles of dead bodies and more archers. Even more range, yeah? Oh yeah, no worries. Where we left off the last time, we ended up getting through to um, a point where we just unlocked all the side quests. And right now... Oh, we almost triggered that. Okay, we've got a defensive guy. A lot of archers. I'm almost feeling we should be on the uh, on the soft side. So now that we've explored all of the deployment zones, let's go ahead and trigger. And uh, let's do it. Here we go. All right, so we have one, two, three. Oh, uh, we've got, oh, just two archers? Two archers, three hardened soldiers. Let's go ahead and grab DK. Uh, we'll go ahead and set him up on the opposite side. Actually, you know what? Let's just have him be like a barbarian, just charge in here. I would imagine then he's going to be super close to these guys. You got to remember that Sir K does have the ability to cleave. This is our brand new Sir Peleus. Sir Peleus should probably stay near DK. That's going to allow him to give other people within his aura an extra armor, even though we've never used him before. I'm going to go ahead and keep Evane way back here so they can go into Overwatch and just cover from this side. And then we're going to have Sir Mordred move forward and just run uh, run screen from this side as well. So let's go ahead and start it. You, th you thought I was further along? Oh, heck yes. I'm glad. I'm glad. No, we have three side missions left, but I do have another game prepared. I'm really excited about it. Uh, I would imagine that we'll at least be able to get into the very beginning of it. So let's see what we got. We're going to be starting with Sir K. Sir K is just right here. He'll get in straight over to the side and give a nice ping. Heck yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. Sucks to be that guy. All right. Well, tell you what. Let's go ahead and grab Sir Peleus. He's going to safeguard. So what we want to do is protect Sir K from any attacks of opportunity, allowing him to reposition and thus get his cleave off on the next one. So guard will last for one turn. So we're just going to hold. Go into Overwatch here. Watch the front arc. And then we'll let that be. Sir Vane's going into Overwatch. Actually, no, we got to move him up, it looks like. Here we go. Uh, we'll just toss ourselves up to the side. And uh, we'll go to Overwatch here. So we're a little bit closer. Nice. And uh, let's go ahead and run Morgid straight in front. Now uh, we will reserve, reserve, and hold. It's a good measure how good this game looks that everyone is decrying the lack of content in the early access builds. Well, dude, this game is awesome. I really, really freaking dig it, yeah? Let's see, we've got, they're all grouped up. This is perfect. So the nice thing about this means that if we can somehow create a space so that Sir K doesn't have to worry about this attack of opportunity from either of the sides, it should allow him to get through and at least hit two per turn. So what we're gonna do, uh, we're going to use Sir Evane to just start whittling away at this guy from the back. We've got an aimed shot with incredible armor piercing, but we might have to sidestep on this one. There we go. Aim shot from the back. I guess. All right. Hey, Mac. Welcome. If you're joining us right now, we're getting into our very first fight against these horrible, horrible marauders. The great thing about that shot is going to allow Sir K to come right around. Uh, we'll just pull it off on this side and we'll get straight to the back. We'll just be ready for it. We'll give him a nice little swing. Heck yes. Beautiful. All right. Guard up. And we'll go ahead and push forward. We want to lock them down. Lock them down. So we're just going to create this wall right here. And hold. Let's see what they do. Heck yes. I'm injured. All right, here we go. So here comes. Well, I guess we can't really. I was hoping to get in a cleave here. Uh, doesn't look like it's going to be a possibility. So we'll just go ahead and strike. Now all the armor's gone. And since he's unarmored, we're going to do extra damage with our bow. 
Uh, I might hit Mordred here, so that'll be a that'll be a travesty. All right, let's hold. All right, Mordred. Let's go ahead and make this as efficient as possible. Attack. We're going to reduce the armor by two and stun on this guy. And then we're just going to focus this guy down. Just burn him down. Burn him down. Let's go ahead and get Perlaeus. He's got that armor piercing. Nice hit for four. Nice hit for two. Now we're clear. So that allows Sir K to just cross on over. Now we'll get right behind him. I guess. <laughs> Backstab galore. This is going to be amazing. All right, Sir Mordred. Now we just got to step outside of the line of sight for Evain. And with this guy stunned, just tuck it up just a little bit. Just a little bit. Here we go. And send the one. And send a reserve. And go. All right, K. God, oh, this is probably this is probably the cleanest that we've done this. Heck yeah! <laughs> oh my gosh, amazing! Well, I'm still standing. The gameplay in Honey Pop is actually really good. It's just the naked anime girls that put me off trying it. Wait, what's Honey Pop? <laughs> Wait, what have I missed? My goodness, I'm so sorry. I haven't been paying attention. I've missed so much, yeah? Mostly because one was hilarious. No D Data King one. That's a bad Data King one. You trying to get Bunny Man banned? Wait, what? Wait, what have I missed? The new game Honey Pop 2. Honey Pop 2. Wait, what happened about Honey Pop? Not only that, but every day there's something else coming that kind of throws me back a little. I have a four hour phone call just because they won't deliver my friend. Oh, I'm sorry about that. The humor is really good. It would still be hilarious even if there was a PG version. Oh my goodness. Well, I don't know what Honey Pop is. Should I should I be not not be looking that up on the stream? Is that probably a bad idea? <laughs> All right, let's see what else we got here. We're just kind of rolling it around. I don't see any loot back here. Just got to explore everywhere. Take a look at our map. Gosh, this place is huge. Holy crap. All right, we got this bowl here. What's this do? You feel like it will unleash the following power. Gain experience. Of course. Heck yes. Select a hero. Well, out of everyone, I'm thinking Surveyne probably needs it. He's the level one. Beautiful. Dude, this is awesome. That kind of reminds me of those those pools on uh, on Diablo, yeah? You can already see it marked off on our map. Oh, hello. What have we done? They're chasing me! Help! Please! Twitch bands. Do not look it up on stream. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm guessing it's uh, not safe for work. Not safe for work. This honey pop. And is there a honey pop too? Should I not even be saying the word honey? Okay, never mind. All right, see, what is this guy doing? He's got a ton of armor. We're talking about seven points of armor on this. Obviously, it is higher then our wonderful Sir Mordred. Well, let's go ahead and play it safe. Uh, we're just going to sidestep. The first person we need to remove is the only ranged character. So we're just going to sidestep here, pull it out. And we'll send a beautiful aim shot. Enemy down. Beautiful. And let's go in and form a wall. We'll form a wall. Not too sure we need to protect. Oh, it does say we need to protect the NPC. <laughs> All right, fair enough. So we'll just pull on up. Let's go in and stick together. We can have Sir Peleus here that means he can go ahead and provide guard to our opponents so let's just form a wall we got this wall going and hold it may be only safe for data king not safe for work are the best content it's not safe for l for stream oh hello there's more holy crap where are they coming from all right fair enough well the glorious thing is that we're going to be able to do this with sir k give him a nice cleave straight to the front heck yes Good hit, good hit. And we're going to try and nail that guy. Boom. So the reason why we're doing that is just so that we he's now unarmored, allowing Sir Peleus. He's going to get that guard on to help out everyone around him. And he's going to get... He's all set. He's just going to hold there. Surrey Vane. Let's go ahead and get that shot. There we go. Sidestep it out. And let's ping the unarmored. Good hit. And hold. There's nothing that is safe for DK. We know how fast he. <laughs> Time to feed the ravens. Yes, he's not very safe. That's for sure. All right. Well, let's go ahead. We don't want to get flanked. We don't want to get a backstab on us because that would be absolutely horrible for our health. So we're just going to hold here. Answer K is going to hold as well. And let's go. Hopefully our NPC is stronger than he looks. Oh my goodness. Enemy down. Stigma burn this guy through give him a nice ping 
armor. He's now stunned and ready. So we're just going to pull forward. We don't have to worry about him too much. Go ahead and ping. 17. All the armor's gone. And 9. That created a hole for Sir Peleus to get right on through and give a nice touch. That for 3. Now we got K on in. Push it up for attacks of opportunity. A vein on the sidestep and the finishing blow. Now we got another shot off. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and hold. Not safe for life. What? <laughs> Wait, is honey or is it Huni? By now, HB has Data King's cloning process down pat, but legitimately, it's one of the games that is banned for stream. Really? See, now I'm curious. Is there? Is it like? The only thing that I can think of that they would ban you for would be like pornographic content or something like that. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't ask. All right, let's ping. There we go. Last guy. God, are we that much stronger? I mean, I suppose I did spend more money on gear, right? See, bunnies, the black market is a good thing. Heck yes. Yes, it is. Ah, okay. Well, then I guess that explains it. Not too bad. So what is the deal with this guy? Not a moment too soon, good sires. You fought valiantly against all odds. There's plenty more left in the village. You care to join us until we deal with these brigands? With pleasure, sire. Oh, heck yes. We've got... Oh, holy crap. We're going to have five? I always thought we were limited to just four. Gosh, I'm glad that we came here early on in the in the map. It's going to be really helpful for us, yeah? HB, and there is pornographic content in... Oh, okay. <laughs> well, thank you so much for explaining it. The splash ad for H2 is interesting. So how come I've never heard of this game before? Did it just come out? Like, uh, why, why, why would the bunnies be asking about this now? All right, am I heading the wrong direction? So I probably want to search this lower right corner first, and then we can come on back to the middle. Um, we might find more things like all of the experience pools, things like that. Anything that'll help us to get a boost up in the limited amount of time that we have with EA. Yeah? Nudity and sexual content, though there is another stream platform that allows it. Oh, really? Should, should I be on that streaming platform? <laughs> Hey, dead man. Heck yes. How, how come I haven't heard of this streaming platform? Is it YouTube? It's probably not YouTube. They probably, uh, you know, stick a popsicle in your in your ear for, for doing something like that. That made no sense. All right, here we go. We've got a little bit more money. Beautiful. So we're going to need all of this for the black market bunnies. That's the main reason why you want money so that you can have all of the beautiful, beautiful gear. All right, we'll step out here. Oh, it looks like we're moving to an entirely another region here. It's old. YouTube actually allows... Oh, really? Holy crap. Did he have to censor it or anything for Markiplier? Plex Storm. It's a cross between Cam Girls and Twitch with more emphasis on Cam Girls. So I'm guessing that means that I can't be on it, right? Because I am not a Cam Girl, unfortunately. Wait, unfortunately? <laughs> unfortunately, I'm not a Cam Girl. What can I say? It is unfortunate. Yes, I know. I'm sure that my streams would be a much more entertaining. Uh, let's see if I crawl on back. I'm noticing that we are missing potential loot down here. Any money at all would be really, really helpful because you got to remember that the store has those like the epic level gear, which would be really, really helpful because we're talking about guaranteed boost to damage of almost like, you know, three points, which is huge in this game at this point. Yeah, probably. So HB again has a black market where he gets broke to the point where the bunnies don't get flavor pack packets anymore. Well, I got to say that it, it's not as black as some might think. It is just a, a very well stocked market that uh, you can spend all of your see, I mean, your money on. Yes, Maymoth, welcome, welcome, welcome. You're joining us right now. We're currently in the first of our side missions. Uh, we're trying to take on a band of brigands that are currently uh, trying to make life difficult for the villagers who are defenseless and poor and require saving, I guess. There are males as well, uh, but the safe for work portion, I haven't seen more than 10 streams at one title, uh, one time total. Wait, so they've got a safe for work portion? They actually segregate it? That's kind of interesting. Emphasis on all of your... <laughs> Why do we focus on such... Oh, hello. Oh, are we coming from the backside? Bunnies, we're coming from the backside. Heck yes, we are ready. So obviously, we're going to be able to eliminate these guys very, very quickly, especially with backstabs. We're going to start with Sir K. 
they drew the girls and honey pop too with nice personalities oh they drew them wait how do you draw a nice well i guess you mean like like make them seem like wholesome good people they drew them with nice personalities oh like they probably i don't know like they probably are donating to charity uh they're smiling a lot because they're having a good time so they're they're obviously well cared for and happy um is my assumption yeah all right, well, let's go ahead and send. We're going to send a nice aim shot straight into the butt. Heck yes, enemy down. Beautiful, beautiful. We'll follow it up with, uh, let's see, we got Sir Peleus. I uh, will just give him the one, two, three, the wall of death straight from the back. I'll reserve with Sir K. We'll reserve with Sir Mordred. And oh, look, we can control. This guy's name is Homer. <laughs> He's about to have an incredible odyssey. Heck yes. You're just reading the articles. They each had a nice pair of purse. I really don't think that's what Harry meant. Yeah, they look after the homeless. Do they really? I don't see what's so... I mean... Is there a fetish for something like that? Does that mean it's like... How how does that fit into nudity? Oh, whatever. I mean, that's a strange pornographic material in that case. Well, let's just go in and push on up. We're going to be very, very close. Can we ping him from the back? Doesn't look like it will hold... And let's end. I'm curious if this guy dies, then I assume that we can't bring him. Are we going to recruit all of these guys at the same time? Because that would be insane, yeah? Hey, the Riddick. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're joining us right now. We're currently fighting against some unlawful brigands and bringing peace and love and joy to the land. Let's go ahead and get Sir K. We'll give him a nice ping like so. Enemy down. That'll allow Sir Mordred to come around to the side. And we'll go ahead and get a stigma cast here so that we can burn through. You can see that he has three armor and 40 vitality. 40 vitality is kind of rough because that's a lot of health to get through. We're going to get our guard up. It's going to last for one full turn. Uh, we already have Homer close. So let's start dealing with the armor. Two hits. He is now unarmored and he is stunned. So we'll just line up with a vein and send a beautiful two. That's one and two. And we'll follow it up with K. Here we go. K to the rescue. Reserve. Reserve and hold. I haven't laughed so hard in a... Why? Sweet summer child. Actually, I was born in the summertime. I was born in July. I was... Uh, I am a cancer. That's what I'm going to say. All right. So Mordred is ready. Go ahead and send a nice ping. And let's go in and start dealing with the armor here. That's one away. And we can send three. Beautiful. And good old K, we're going to take full advantage and go in for a nice cleave. Heck yes. And a follow up with a swing. And the great thing about this is that a vein is going to be able to put the finishing touches right there on our opponents. So we'll just sidestep and ping away. All clear. Beautiful. Gosh, I feel like our our guys are getting so much stronger, don't you think? It's pretty incredible. We'll just hold here and reserve. And we got Homer. Just form this dastardly, dastardly wall right behind him and hold. I wouldn't call you a cancer. Oh, why not? No, it's like the uh, like the like the crabs, yeah. The archer threading the needle. I know he's incredible. I I've never seen such an amazing shot, yeah. All right, well let's go in and start. We know that Sir K is capable of some incredible damage. So bam. <laughs> you were kind of an anti-cancer. Oh, I, I see what you're talking about. You're talking about like uh, some, some like horrible, horrible situations, but and, like tumors and the like, yeah. There are 14 channels on right now. None in the safer work option at the moment, though. I think I saw Honey Pop 2 on one. So what you're saying is that bunnies, should we switch over to this other streaming platform? It seems like we'll have zero competition. Heck yes. There's going to be the cam girls and then there's going to be the bunny league. I can I can totally see us doing really well. Yeah, you bring the goods, not the bad anti -can <laughs> anti cancer, anti cancer. You know what? That totally makes me think of anti instead of like anti. Uh, so we lost a lot of armor. Let's go in and try and replenish it. We've got bandages. We're going for the armor smith kit. That's going to obviously we've got a choice to heal up 30% of our hit points or 50% of the armor. Right now, we've got three more armor on K, so that's going to help reduce a lot of the damage that we take because obviously it's one of the only ways that you can regain your armor in the middle of battle. Yeah, cam girls, cam boys, and you. Heck yes. All right. I can totally see we're going to be in the right company. You know, that's the crazy thing is that like, you know, I mean, 
you know, that that's probably the one thing that's missing, don't you think? I mean, if there's cam Who's girls this? and cam boys, then, you know, maybe they're just missing, like, I don't know, some good old-fashioned fun, you know? So cancer is bad. Things can be really called cancer. Cancer is when they're really toxic. You are in all. Oh, thank you, Garrison. Well, I think the big thing is that it's, it's not cancer, not so much like cancer, like it's not a tumor cancer, but more like, you know, pinchy, pinchy, pinchy cancer. You know what I mean? All right, let's see if Vane will get a nice shot. Can we can we ping this guy from the back? Can we sidestep thread the needle? Some might say uh, we got these guys way at the edge. Heck yes, enemy down. Beautiful. Just wipe that clean. Sir K is going to charge straight into battle. I want to go man to man. You know, bunnies, I'm kind of thinking this like a sport. You know what I mean? It's like if you're playing basketball and you go man to man or, or even like football or anything like that. You want to make sure that you've got coverage with each of the op four. Obviously, that's going to allow us to uh, get free opportunities of attack or I guess a attacks of opportunity if they try to get away from us. So overall, I think it's going to be a good strategy to start with, yeah? Maybe HB is trying to break into a new streaming service. Oh, service? Like what? Oh, like the new platform? I came in late to all this what channels? Didn't Mixer thing dry up and go away? Another new challenger to Twitch? I hear that... Oh, holy crap. We are... Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Holy crap. Is that us? Oh, no, that's... Okay, that's the opt for it. I thought that was us. <laughs> Freak the hell out of me. No, um, friend, first of all, welcome. Uh, we are currently fighting against the brigands, the horrible, horrible brigands. But we were just talking about how we might be able to take take this other platform by storm if we show up, because we would be absolutely without competition. And you know, you know how we think about competition and capitalism and all. It is uh, we would be the anti-cancer of the platform. Heck yes. All right, Peleus. Uh, let's see. Was going to start driving in him. That was related to the camboys. Competition for big platforms like. Twitch are good, to be honest. Don't want them to go away. Yeah, no, absolutely. Let's get straight to the back, and we're just going to go in and hug straight up to him. We got a vein. Send the ping. Heck yes. I probably should have uh, threaded the needle another way, yeah? Well, tell you what, let's go ahead and go into Overwatch. There we go. And hold. I think Bit Shoot is going to start streaming soon. Is Bit Shoot another streamer on this new platform, yeah? you the only safer work. That's not what I heard. There's a whole section for safer work, friend. Uh, let's see what we got. All right, we'll just cross on up. Give him a nice ping. Drop. Now he's fully unarmored. That's glorious. And we'll switch on over to Peleus and get in the unarmored blows. One and two, and the enemy is done. Uh, now we've got Sir K looking really, really damaged. So we got to be really careful. Let's push up with Homer. BitChute is a YouTube competitor. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Never heard of him until today. Thank you so much for letting me know. I don't know too much about him, yeah? Let's go ahead and get Sir K back. He's, he's looking a little bit more rough for wear. So we'll just hold and reserve. Hold. And there we go. Hello, Jason. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I thought about trying to stream there because of the looser clothing requirements and not being banned for accidental nudity. <laughs> But when I was checking it out, it was met and more targeted as a sex chat platform with games. I don't know what games might be allowed, though. There's a toggle for... <laughs> Dead man, I love that you looked into that. And I love the fact that you were considering the accidental nudity. You know about all those times when I'm out there and yeah, the... You know, it's always business up top and... <laughs> no pants down below. What can I say? I have no idea. I mean, that's... Am I going to get banned on Twitch for that? Probably not. I right, was going to loot this here. And now we know why HB is practicing new camera angles. Oh my, absolutely. We've got trophies. We've got additional items. I'm really, really worried about Sir K. We're probably going to have to hold him back because I don't know if there's permanent death. You know what I mean? We haven't actually experienced that just yet. So that might be something that we have to worry about. Let's go around. We're going to explore the rest of the map. I'm not seeing any new points here. It looks like we might have explored this entire area and the last part is straight to the west. So let's go ahead out there. Yeah. Whoops. Have I been streaming with my Willy out again? Oh God. Uh, with Bunny Man's propensity for shooting people in the butt, I'm not sure platform was shooting the name is where we should go. Oh, I love you all. Oh my gosh. I needed this. That's amazing. Uh, MFW, where you're on a video call, you forget you don't have pants on. I know that happens more times than one would like to think. Oh, we should probably head up here. 
sometimes your shirt just uh, flies off, don't you know? <laughs> Dead man accidentally letting the kimono <laughs> slide open. Well, I have heard that Dead Man Splat is is very very multicultural, so uh, I would imagine that I I can definitely see him uh, wearing a kimono and all. I was actually considering realism in the mech cockpit, where most books talk about mech pilots wearing underwear rather than normal clothing. Uh, oh my god, that's amazing! Yes. Just got here and I have to go to bed, but popping in just long enough to ambush you with some bits. Keep up the half naked discussion. FTGA <laughs> bunny love. Avid, thank you so much for the cheers, and we'll definitely keep talking about half nakedness. Heck yes. I hope you have a great, great rest, and uh, we'll catch you later, man. All right, so I am noticing something right here. You can kind of see a fire here, so I feel like this is where we need to go next because if we can keep Sir K out of danger, then he'll be able to heal his hit points yeah this oh this looks like a serious battle dear god Time to god now i now i kind of want to stream on what this other platform is just so that i can uh avoid accidental nudity imagine a group of mech warrior five pilots doing role play stream. <laughs> i'm imagining it and it sounds amazing i i i can i can concur that this is a great idea all right, let's go in and Peleus. Peleus is up front. We're going to be keeping K to the back. He's just going to go in for lightning strikes. So we'll just bring him on over. So Ravine's going to keep himself mid-range or so, just so that he can respond to whatever is needed. And we'll finish right here. Here we go. So where are is where is the op for? We've got two Malay up front. This is a lot of guys. And it looks like we've got traps. Have we just detected these? I can see that we had potential deployment zones here. I might have made them a bit of a mistake. It doesn't look like they're going to be able to get through this area. Uh, so tell you what, this is the choke point right here, the only point of ingress. So we're going to go ahead and get Mordred. Let's uh, tuck on up. We're going to get right over. Oh, what happened? Are we trapped? Oh, we're trapped. Holy crap. That's not good. That's bad. All right. Well, tell you what, let's go into Overwatch here. We'll just watch this side. We're going to form a shield wall. Hey, new. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I don't really want to imagine that too late. It's been imagined now. <laughs> Buckets on their head and speedos. Oh my goodness. That sounds amazing. Can we can we please make this happen? All right, they've got a trap here. I'm curious if the enemy can see the trap as well. So let's go in and get a vein. He's all set to thread the needle overwatch up and we're going to watch that point. I will have Homer cross over to the left side here. Freedom of movement and ease of withstanding the heat. It makes sense to pilot a mech in next to nothing. Absolutely, absolutely. I can definitely see how that would be a boon and not a bane, except for dangly bits, maybe getting caught in the heat sink or something, which would be a travesty for sure. All right, beautiful. They're using up all their movement points, free shots. Okay, this is going to be incredible. If we can indeed funnel them through here, this is going to be amazing. I don't see how they're going to be able to get to us in any time flat. Yeah. You know, Bunny, for you, let's make it happen. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, if I have to show a little bit of shoulder, then. <laughs> Remember the introduction of Lori Calamar climbing out of the locust wearing panties and a cool. Oh, really? You know what that reminds me of? I, I, she, I bet she would do really well next to Sigourney Weaver. Am I right? All righty, Vane. Let's go ahead and bypass that armor. We got a nice shot. Enemy down. Beautiful. Now we've got the one. So we'll just tuck over to the left and hold. Let's see, Mordred can move again. So we'll just get on up. We want them to come on through. Overwatch to this side here. Here comes Homer. He's going in Overwatch here. Uh, we got Peleus. We're going to sidestep this all just to force them to come through. Yeah, that is the goal. So Overwatch again. There we are. And Sir K is going to pull over. I'm actually going to hold, pull back just a little bit. I don't know when that archer comes through. He's going to be able to get a shot. So we'll just hold Overwatch here and let's go. Yo. ASMR plus plus. Oh my. You know, Bunny, remember HBU's healing? Oh, Serv, thank you so much for reminding me. I really, really appreciate it. I totally forgot. There was an all girls unit in compelling space. Perhaps I should create a flashpoint with them piloting naked and HB will have to switch. <laughs> I dig it. All right, let's go. Let's do it. The plus plus makes it sound like Lost Tech. It is Lost Tech. <laughs> Lost Tech ASMR. It's called the, the Resolve Generation System. The the uh, the comm system, yeah. All right, here we go. Healing Potion. Thank you so much for reminding me. I completely forgot. 
absolutely forgot that that's oh that's such a lifesaver you have no idea all right let's hold it back so that we can flex i feel like this is football right now you know let's get a nice shot and that guy the archer's the worst of the of the bunch there uh, we got mordred we're gonna stun this guy it's gonna allow us to sidestep one and shift the line shift the line hey bass thank you so much for the reset for 12 months man Really, really appreciate you joining us right now. We're doing our very best to take on uh, the worst of the worst as the worst ourselves. Or you could just make the cyber cyber cat girl. So we're talking about the magistracy of Canopus. They're the only ones that I know of that have been flaunting the, the feline prowess, if you know what I mean. There's 23, 16, uh, and everyone's pretty much used up everything. So we'll just reserve and let's hold. Here they come. Stack it up way out in the distance here do we have like a hidden guy there the camera snapped to an empty area yeah cat girls where where <laughs> oh garrison thank you so much for the gifted stuff we could show some love in chat for garrison that'd be incredible thank you really appreciate it man asmr plus plus mouth sound spandex scratching and sldf stapler clicking and tapping plus parrot avatars yes the ed corbu supreme give him a nice ping come on homer smack this guy Good hit. Smack him again. There we go. We got Peleus. We'll go in for the guard since we've got more at our door. Oh, holy crap. Dead man. Thank you so much for the gifted subs. And we can show some love in chat for dead man. That'd be amazing. Bunnies, thank you. I really, really appreciate it, man. Oh, my goodness. I did not even expect it. Thank you. All right, Mordred, clear that. There we go. And let's push it on straight into the middle. Uh, let's see. We've got a vein. Bane on the side step, and we'll just start pinging. Ping one. Ping two, clear two armor. Oh my goodness. Now we've got K. So K's gonna tuck up. I don't think they're gonna be able to get around us, so we'll we'll kind of brave it over here and go into reserve. And then we'll have Mordred come in with a nice swing and clear the last of the armor right there and hold. My goodness, level three hype train on a Tuesday? What has gotten into the bunnies? This is incredible. Thank you. Oh, can this guy shoot from here? That's a no go. Can a vein? I don't think he can shoot from there, can he? Well, tell you what, this is what we're going to do. We're going to have K come around the back. Uh, he's not quite in position yet, so let's go in and start with Mordred. Get the stun off. This is going to allow us to reposition. Peleus is going to come around to the corner. Uh, we're gonna get uh let's see homer in as well we gotta safeguard that guy if we throw if we enough throw enough bits at hb maybe we'll get a bucket in speedo stream thank you so much and you know what if it's a bucket actually bunnies speaking of bucket i have to say i'm really really excited i got something in the mail that is really really freaking cool i think you would all love it yeah thank you so much We'll give him a nice ping. Stunned after all. And oh my goodness, Surf, thank you so much for the hype. Appreciate it, man. The bunnies are too kind, I swear. And Peleus with a strike. And then we'll finish it off with a nice thread by a vein. Here we go. Thread the needle. And send. Plus one for naked battle tech streams. I'm not talking about weapon <laughs> You know, I bet, is that a thing? I know there's, wait, isn't it? It's called rule 34, is that right? Rule 34, which is like, if there's a porn for anything, then there's a porn for it somewhere. It would, it, I think that's what it's called. Is it 43 or or 33 or the square root of seven? <laughs> I don't remember. But overall, like I would imagine there's something like that, naked battle tech. It wasn't there, a, there was a thing about the, the bunnies were talking about the Black Widow at one point as, as being something that was uh, like, every young boy's dream or something all right there we go we cleared it so now that we've cleared the choke point it doesn't make sense to give it up so we're just going to go ahead and back it on up we'll go into overwatch here and let's go ahead and pull them through the choke point there is no point in pressing forward at the moment uh, so we'll just get our overwatch going we're going to pull homer back he's going into overwatch as well and we'll get peleus he'll cross on over and also go into overwatch it's going to be perfect and let's just hold here we go rule ah 34 i got it right the first time thank you if it exists, there's a porn of it. You had it right. If a thing exists, there is a ver porn version of it. There we go. So I bet if we look up Naked and Battletech, you're going to find 
a whole bunch of old guys violating mechs. <laughs> Because after all, you've got to remember that they are just trying to manage their heat the best way that they can. All right, let's go ahead and get Mordred. We're going to center ourselves. Overwatch it up. Line this up. Line this up. Here we go. We are set. Reserve. Come on, Homer. Reserve. Suck it up. Cross over and hold. Here they come. Stack it up. We've got a Bane. Let's go in and shred the armor before we close the distance. Sidestep. And who can who can shred armor? Can Homer get in? Homer's gonna sidestep. Naked grandpa. <laughs> I wear no underwear like Bella Woods. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works, but I'll take it. I'll take it. There we go. Oh, armor is not completely gone. Can we? All right, Peleus. Peleus. All right, Peleus is in. We'll get a nice swing, and then can we pull away? That's a real question here. He's looking a little bit... He's looking stunned. Uh, let's see. We'll get the one in reserve. Can we thread the needle, Levain? Thread that needle. There we go. And he is now unarmored. Full damage. Heck yes. Kind of reminds me of Battletech a little bit, actually. I will right, stack it up. Go and overwatch if he wants to cross over. Reserve and hold. Natasha Kerensky, the 80s pinup girl of battle. Absolutely, that is what I hear. And thank you so much again for the hype train. I had no freaking idea. That's amazing, yeah? Give them all the choo-choo. Oh, what is that? Oh, did we get shot in the... We got shot in the sternum. That's awesome. Heck yes. Thank you so much, bunnies. All right, well, let's see. Let's get uh, let's get Mordred with the ping. Enemy down. Beautiful. So it looks like we managed this beautifully. We've pretty much taken almost no damage whatsoever. And on top of that, our our opponents are just they're just going to have to come to us. There's nothing that they can do. They're just going to be all grouped up and uh, in very, very bad positions. Let's get a vein in Overwatch. He's going to deal extra damage thanks to one of the pieces of equipment that we have. Homer closing up the formation and let's hold better to be shot in the sternum than in the bitch <laughs> dude looks a little surprised fun fact battletech was off by one year for fusion engines someone just panned it oh what right now really how does that work when did that happen what in the world here they come here they come all right, beautiful. Let's go ahead and start this. So we've got Sir Mordred. Sir Mordred is now in full Overwatch. There we go. Let's go ahead and tuck K back. We're going to pull him back just a little bit. We're going to come around uh, the entire opposite side here. Just bring that around. Uh, we're going to get Homer. Actually, we'll get Peleus to the front here. And uh, we'll go into Overwatch as well. Homer is ready. He's coming on over to assist. And we're going to come around the backside if we need to. We've got a vein. So we'll get that aim shot. Uh, let's see, can we do it? We'll just sidestep one, aim shot out. Nice hit, nice hit. And do it. Heck yes. The great thing about this is we can do stigma. Boom. He is stunned, lost two armor. We are good to go. That means that Evane is safe to make some free shots, free damage, and enemy down. Heck yeah. <laughs> That's so clean. Bunnies, our bunnies are getting so much stronger, yeah? Finish the mission on this one. Well, we definitely want to make sure that we loot everything, yeah? I just know it was Pantatint. Lore had them being made in 2020. Ah, okay. Heck yes. Oh, we got a lucky charm. Bunnies, we definitely need a lucky charm. I'm curious if we can use any of the fireplaces, because after all, the fireplaces are the things that are allowing us to uh, kind of get all of our health back, our armor back, things like that. Oh, there's so much Who's to explore this? out here. Let's open this chest. All the money, beautiful. Haven't there already been fusion reactors for a while? We just can't get them to self-sustain or make surplus power. So what happens with them, though? I mean, like, if we've had them for a while, like, like uh, what's the deal, yeah? I remember either a fan fiction or a battle tech... Te Whoa, careful. Battle tech technology... Oh, battle technology magazine that mention adjusting the seat in the mech with a porta potty and ejection system for what <laughs> for what fills it oh i guess we've got it free all right bandages beautiful free healing oh i guess it only drat that only heals our vitality my bad 
Although I guess we don't really need it anymore. Is there anything else to loot around here? Gosh, there it seems like there were so many directions that we could have approached, but quite frankly, I think that worked really well, yeah? It is the pesky law of thermodynamics on fusion reactors. Have not perfected the flux capacitor enough yet to use the empty beer cans and banana. <laughs> that is the only way that it can detect the sarcasm. The only way. And I think we've explored pretty much the whole thing. There's only one area that we haven't seen yet, but I don't even know if it's necessarily worth it. We are maxed out on health. We are very low on armor, but gosh, I feel like archers are really, really strong in this game. Like if you can get two archers and two front linesmen, I think that you're going to be able to do incredible things like potentially not even be touched. All right, let's finish it up. Here we go. Let's see what loot we got. Not bad, not bad. It looks like Sir K DK was injured once again, but we've got this lucky charm. Overwatch attack always deal maximum damage for Marksman. That's going to be amazing for Vayne, especially because he tends to do it quite a lot. Uh, we've got ourselves Rune of the Immaculate. Holy crap. I remember these things cost 1500 in the black market. So that's amazing. We get a free one. Let's go ahead and continue that. 616 gold, 969 and 550. Let's go ahead and take a look at the hospice. I've got to see what we've got. So we're one away from being back in action. The cathedral's where you kind of cure up all of your, your injuries. So let's go and construct that. The cathedral offers solve not only for the soul, but also for the body. You can heal the light and heavy injuries of your heroes here for the right price. So obviously the most injured that we have right now is Balin, uh, but I almost feel like we should probably put Dindrin here. This costs us gold. Uh, can we minus 10% max HP suffered vitality damage is increased by one. If you have enough gold, you can do it. Okay, well, uh, what about what about Balin? Infected wounds, suffered poison effects duration doubled. That's horrible. Suffered HP damage is increased by one. That's not good for a frontline guy at all. So let's go ahead and use send a treat 250. There we go. I will pull this out. Looks like we probably need to sell for more money. Yeah. So I'm heading to bed now. Have fun, bunny. See you on Saturday. See maybe Saturday. Lumina, thanks so much for hanging out. I hope you have a great, great rest and we'll catch you later. Two archers will be incredible. I, I fully agree. I fully, fully agree. We're, we were talking about the new Mars rover. I feel slightly dumb. A lot of its battery and subsystems were built like 45 minutes from... Heck yes, De Beer. That's awesome. Are you kidding me? When do we find the glowing grail symbol and get captured by Wicked Zoot? <laughs> you can treat one in the hospice and one in the cathedral. Oh, my question served. If we treat someone in the in the cathedral, does that mean that they're, they, we don't have to pay the gold for it? That after a battle, they get one of their injuries healed? Is that how that works? All right, let's see what we got. We got a vein. We've got K. Poor, poor K is looking a little soft, but uh, we got the rune of swiftness. Holy crap. Look at the amount of armor damage. So you can see this has 40 armor damage on it. Obviously, this only had 20. So we've doubled the uh, doubled the output. We've got a testing of military nuclear and probing grounds close by. Hope it's not probing. <laughs> probing grounds. Yes, I hope it's not. Well, you know, probing might not be so bad, depending, but uh, the probing grounds do sound a little bit, uh, a little bit sus. All right, so let's take a look at our skills right now. 25% HP from armor type items. If we can, holy crap, that's actually pretty incredible, because if you think about it, if we get 45 health off of something, that'll be nuts. 20 mental resist, every dot effect. Uh, we got the stun, armor reductions, extra 10% vulnerability, it lasts for plus one turn. That seems crazy. That seems crazy to last for an extra turn. You can then have overlapping stigmas. That would be nuts. Plus two vitality, plus two HP, plus physical resist, two HP regained when killing an enemy. Seems nice. Let's go ahead and go with, we got bleed, gain one AP when killing an enemy with strike versus armor increased by one. Lighten armor, heavy armor items reduce one less action point. Oh my God. Ooh, that's that's tough. Bleed seems really, really good because you can strike multiple people and cause them to bleed off. But leaving them alive for a long time doesn't seem like it would necessarily be a good thing, although it'd be really good when you're dealing with people with a lot of armor. Let's go with the extra vulnerability and then we'll we'll get bleed uh, just to start that off and we'll switch on over to K. Military nuclear probing. I know, seriously, that would be a whole... Uh, a whole new world. <laughs> All right, Kay. Let's see. We've got that cleave. 
Cleave deals 30% damage in its center. Cleave cooldown reduced by one or 10% damage for Cleave or strength. You know, I kind of like this one for every unspent action point from the previous turn, you get plus 10% damage. Oh, we already got that? Oh, never mind. Gain one temporary armor for every three. Unspent AP? Holy crap, that's insane. Gain plus one action point for every three unspent action points. Wow! Okay, we are grabbing that. That's crazy. And then plus extra damage for each unspent AP. That seems insane. This is incredible. That sounds incredible. Gain plus one damage for two turns after a kill. Does that work on only only this? Regain one armor when drinking potions. That seems ridiculous. Definitely going to grab that. Uh, this is for the marksman here for maximum damage on Overwatch. And then finally for champions, that plus one damage after a kill seems incredible. Let's go into stop to evade. Damage dealt from cover, Overwatch damage. So overall, the Overwatch damage that he deals already is pretty darn good, yeah? I work out there from time to time. Do not want probing grounds. They told us if we mouth off too much to the wrong security offers, it can become probing grounds. Oh God, I did not need that association with Aladdin. <laughs> I can, <laughs> I can open your eyes. Security there is crazy. The security sweep on my work truck takes about 45 minutes. Holy crap. Well, you know, at least, at least you, I'm sure you feel very, very secure. I'm sure. All right, let's see what we got. Guard. Plus one armor to allies. That'll be crazy. Gain one AP in the turn following the one when guard is used. I mean, out of all of this, 25% armor, vitality increased by three. Uh, we've got regain one HP on hit. I'm feeling like nightly zeal, guard cooldown, guard range. Guard range, for sure. Definitely want that. Gain one AP in the turn following the one when guard is used. That would be nuts. Bunnies, can you believe that? If you use this, how much does this cost right now? AP cost cooldown three turns. Let's give him plus one armor as well. Holy crap, that seems incredible. Going in with the same crew seems to be the way that we'll go. Uh, let's go over to our merchant and we'll sell a few things. Plus two damage. Oh my god, that's incredible. Wait, right now we've got nine to 15 versus nine to 12. Let's hold off on that. We'll go ahead and sell plus two damage in a duel. One in the world, we'll sell that. We'll sell this. Armor wise, we're looking at plus 20 we'll sell this as well and then potions oh hello gain 50 percent ap for one turn the guy that i would want with all the ap would be probably our archer so we'll do that and we'll just get extra healing potions on our frontline fighters that seems ridiculous um what we will do though is if we take a look over here at the cathedral it does seem like we can heal some of these things immediately minus 10 percent max hp Suffered vitality damage increased by one. I do not like that at all. Uh, I guess we'll just leave it like this. We've got one in, or can we switch them? Can we swap them? Can I drop her in here? Drop her up here, maybe? Doesn't look like it. Or unless we pull her out, right? Cancel the treatment for healing Bruce. Oh, I see how that works. Okay, so what we're going to do, what we're going to do, let's go in and pull. Can we get Balin out? Can we get, can we pull her out? Vitality healing like that. We'll pull her out just like that. Uh, we'll get Balin in. So Balin will be in here at 1300. Oh my, did I mess that up? And then we'll get Lady Dindrin. Oh, you have to pay to get it. Oh, I think we messed that up. Well, you know what? That's fine. We'll just let her hold on that next one and uh, we'll go to the adventure map here. Fort Bragg security is pretty tight. They x-ray your entire truck. Oh my goodness. Island of the Shrine. All right, burial mounds it is. Defeat all the undead and clear the woods. As I gather in the golden age of Avalon, knights were wandering these woods seeking adventure. They fought and sometimes fell, but eventually they always returned fully healed and in great spirits. But that was before Avalon succumbed to the taint. Now anyone who dies here remains trapped between life and death. And of course, now it has become my duty to take care of this pest. So it seems like we're going to be dealing with a lot of undead. I'm a little worried about having Sir Kay there, but that having been said, if we go over to Lady Dendron, I think, I think we might be low on equipment because we kind of had everything absorbed by our, by Surrey Vane. So I'm thinking we should probably still bring Sir Kay and should be really, really cautious with him. So we'll go in like so. Here we go. Dead man opens the kimono. I can show you the world. <laughs> Shining, shimmering, splendid. 
It was at a nuclear test reactor, so yeah, bomb sniffers, swab your hands for explosives, all by heavily armed guards, good times, the paperwork to get chlorine to treat the wells, it was long and took weeks, we had armed escorts to treat it, dear god. Well, you know what, it seems like you are one of the only people qualified or, or um, determined enough to get in, so I mean, that's gotta be, I mean, pretty decent for business, I mean, competition, oh, hello, what is this? Hey you, not a step closer, this is our plunder. I see blood on that chest. Is it from the nearby village? Your mouth, you gutless bastard. Move on. In the name of Camelot, defend yourself. I guess. Holy crap, this guy's got a ton of armor. This is where Surrey Vane's going to be coming in really, really handy. So what we're going to do, let's go ahead and get that cast of stigma. Get that stun off. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and push straight over to the side. We're going to split this guy and try and drop his minions. Uh, here we go with K. We'll get straight to the front and start burning through some of his armor. We can bypass. Oh! Or get rid of all the armor in one go. Heck yes. I get the shining and splendid, but why is it shimmering well oiled? I thought that was a show. <laughs> I love you guys. Oh my God. This is so wrong. And it's amazing all at the same time. Guard up, guard up. Here we go. Beautiful. All right, Evane. Let's do it, Evane. Get ready. We'll get that. Get a nice shot in, shoot. Nice hit. Aim shot. Nice hit. And hold. Good block, good block. I guess all the armor's gone because he tried to reposition. This is glorious. We'll tell you what, we've got a vein. He's going to get the shot off. Clear the main minion. Enemy down. Beautiful. Oh, what the heck is this? Oh. Do we have to kill his undead form? What in the world? All right. Oh, he's going to come back in three turns, I think. I think that's how that works. Well, tell you what. Let's get Peleus over. He'll give a nice ping and end this guy. There it is. And then finally, we've got Mordred. Start working through all of his armor. God, this is really cool. And then we've got K. Can we flip over? Can we get over? Can't even see the ground very well. And swing. Nice hit. Alrighty, vein. And send. That hurt. Oh. Nail him. Oh, so we do have to kill them. Holy crap. Alright. Uh, let's start working and work them. Oh boy. Do the deed. Swing one. Swing two. Heck yes. Guy's done for good. Chop, chop, double tap. <laughs> so now, now I kind of get the undead. I think the scary thing is in large, large numbers. This would be really, really difficult because you'd have to dedicate multiple turns to taking them out. Yeah. But not bad if they're not moving. They can't really dodge and all. Let's just hold and this guy's done. Enemy down. Beautiful. The awesome part, we could not have more than 35 gallons of diesel fuel in the truck, so massive math to figure fuel usage and make sure we were not over going through the checkpoint. Well, it sounds like you've got it down, though. I mean, at least you know about that requirement, so you were able to uh, compensate for it. Oh, hello. Oh, dear God, we were just talking about this. Radiation detectors when leaving can't be stealing the glowing stuff. <laughs> I don't know why you'd want to. All right, uh, I'm hoping that we don't have to kill these guys twice. I'm curious if there's any notification as to which ones you kill twice and which ones you don't. But I think holding this position right here is actually the best thing uh, for our... Can we can we get out here? For our um, frontline warriors. Yeah, let's go in and get a vein. He'll get that shot. Good ping. Now we got another shot. Uh, no, do we have shots on? Who, who do we have shots on? We got one. We have none here. So we're just going to go into Overwatch and cover those angles on the approach. Uh, we're going to hold K back just a little bit. We want to be careful. And then we got Peleus in Overwatch like so. And then finally, Overwatch for Mordred and end. Limit on diesel fuel. How much fertilizer was allowed then? Zombies. Why are there always zombies? <laughs> Dude, that would be crazy. If we had Morgan Le Fay, I would imagine a fireball would be amazing, yeah? I, I'm assuming that she's got AoE magic of some kind. 
And by the way, bunnies, Morgan the Fae looks badass. So I just want to show off her art. King Arthur Knight's Tale. Look at this. Look at this. She looks really, really freaking cool, yeah? So if we swap it over, this is Morgan the Fae. That, that's this that's her art it looks so cool i can't wait it's gonna be awesome all right what can we do what can we do all righty vein looks like we can easily finish these guys off we've got a vein he has some armor just ping right through guys down go ahead and ping another give me another shot here or do we have to sidestep first uh that used up everything my bad or right, we'll just back step it off yeah HB2 shows off art as well. You just want to show off her personality. <laughs> we heard about personality. We heard about personality. It was a, it was a, uh, Harry told us all about how, you know, the, the dedication to freeing the homeless from their homelessness. Um, there's, there's a lot, there's a lot to be thankful for. Uh, let's go push on up. Yeah. They didn't expose her personality enough in the art. <laughs> you can't see your soul. Oh my god, guys, well, then it's time to go to Weedle. What's so what's Wiedelheim? Is that something from Valheim? Is that a place in Valheim? All right, drive it, drive it, drive it for four. Awaiting your command. All right, K. Get in there with a swing. And uh, K is set. Mordred. Give him a nice ping up front. And reserve. Here we go. It's where you go when you die. Dib goes there off. <laughs> I'm sorry, that sounds... Uh, holy crap. Oh, that sucks. Hey, Max Liu. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. Thank you so much for the follow and welcome to the Bunny League. All right, let's go in and get a finishing blow. Get that ping. We've got K on the follow-up. We'll get that swing in. Nice hit. And that guy. Oh, my goodness. We are just cleaving through zombies left and right. Let's see if we can't get a stigma off. He is now stunned. And we'll follow up with a nice strike. All right, we've got this under control now. There's there's absolutely nothing that they can do to us because if we were if we were worried before about them getting unnecessary damage on us, I mean, there's nothing they can do. Look at this. Shot from cover. Heck yes. All right, we got to go in for the kill. I love that little sidestep. It is such a cool touch that they've got going on. All right, Peleus, close the gap, close the gap. It's the Norse mythology bad place to die. Oh, without a weapon. Oh, like Helheim. But we are seeing it wrong because it's more fun. <laughs> you know, I saw that in uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I wasn't too sure how, you know, accurate necessarily all of the, the lore is there. But they did make a big deal about dying with or without your axe. So there was that. All right, not bad, not bad. That was actually relatively clean. We only took one set of damage from that. Let's just go in and pull it on back. We'll cross on over. Looks like a bit of a dead end. Oh, so glad that we explored. We were able to get additional loot. Sigil for heavy armor. Right now we are at... Oh, should we cross? I guess we... The, there's only one place to go. Just through this area right here. Hopefully we'll find ourselves some type of uh, ladder or something. All right, we've got Forest Chapel. You feel like it will unleash the following power. Heal HP. That's perfect. Definitely using it for K. Oh, of course it heals vitality. <laughs> uh, I wish there was something that we could do that would replace our loss of uh, of of the HP or vitality uh, armor for sure. Let's get that back. What's the point of resting? All right, we'll cross dead. over to the left. Unless this is a dead end. If this is a dead end, then we should definitely go that way. Oh, oh. We found a deployment zone. Let's see if we can't get around to the opposite side, yeah? Obviously, anytime you see a deployment zone, you kind of want to keep looking for additional ones because then you can have that as an option to deploy to as well. Looks like a bit of a choke point here. Oh, that don't look good. No way out without a fight. Oh, Niflheim? Niflheim I've heard of before, yeah? What the heck is this? I have no idea. See, they've got an Arbalist 3 melee. All right, we'll tell you what. Let's, uh... All right, Mordred, stack up. Uh, we got Peleus, stack up. Get in there. Uh, we got a vein. We'll get behind cover. Or like this. Uh, now we've got Sir Kay. 
behind cover as well. And let's go. Got our choke point. Let's go into Overwatch to the front. Uh, we got Peleus. We'll go into Overwatch to the front. Uh, Sir K is going to reserve. And we are going into Overwatch to the fore. There we go. Do it. Good hit. We should be able to get another one off. Good hit. Yes! <laughs> Dropping the only ranged threat in front of us. That is incredible. God, archers are so powerful in this game. It's so ridiculous. Let's go ahead and stun the guy on the left. We'll have a vein get a shot off here. Ending that guy. We'll go in with an aim shot and deal a decent amount of damage. We've got Peleus. Get a nice hit to the remaining threat in front of us. We'll have more Druid follow up with a nice swing. We're going to go ahead and sidestep out. That's going to allow K to come on in. And we'll go in with a... Oh, with a cleave. Heck yeah! <laughs> this is amazing! Oh my god! We are beasts! How is this even a thing? Enjoy the archers while you can. I suspect they may get nerfed at some point in the future. Oh my goodness. Oh, please no. This is too incredible. Oh, oh! What? They've got a spawn point. It's like Phoenix Point. Who was that? That is a DK. This is DK right here. He, he's doing he's doing God's work. What can I say? I right, let's get in here. Get in there. They've got another Arbalist of sorts. So uh, ping away. We'll clear that. Beautiful. And we'll step it on up. Get another shot in. Clear that guy. <laughs> it's so strong. It's so strong. Gauntlet. Red Elf shot the... <laughs> God, I remember Gauntlet. I remember when you could you could play it in the arcades, yeah? That was huge. It was right next to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade machine where you had like a... Uh, and oh, and then the Simpsons. Do you remember the Simpsons arcade machine? That thing was nuts. It had a wraparound screen and everything, yeah? Food, good. I spent so much money on Gauntlet. Then I got it on PC and I remember it was, it was such a big deal, yeah? All right, we're going to get that stun off. K is going to go around the corner. He's going to get a nice swing in on this spawning station. Actually, it looks like we can get a nice cleave in like so. Heck yes. And swing. Beautiful. God, this is so clean. What a clean fight this is. You got to dig it. We'll get in here and send a nice ping. And we are clear. Beautiful. Almost without fault. I gotta say, one of the, the one the only downsides is we took some armor damage, but it was totally worth it, yeah? We've almost cleared this whole zone. There's only one more, yeah? Valkyrie needs... Dude, Valkyrie was beautiful. More cleavage being shown by DK. <laughs> I need to get back to the local arcade once the whole Corona thing is over. Assuming it's still there, they've got Gauntlet. Data King, where, are you talking about the one... Oh, here we go. I guess the only way we can get in. What is this are you talking about the arcade in Chicago where... I think you said that you went there and they've got all these retro games, yeah? I'm sure they'll nerf the crossbow since it does almost as much damage as a mage. Do we have a crossbow yet? I don't think we've got it yet. Gotta go, HB. Thanks for the stream. Needed laughs today. Oh, heck yes. Well, Joke, thanks so much for hanging out. Thank you to the bunnies for giving Joke the laughs. And I hope you have a great night. We'll catch you later, man. I would see where we at. Do we have any other deployment zones? I don't think so. We've just got to find ourselves a good choke point. Uh, I don't think we can get way back here, but we can force them to kind of weasel their way through. So let's go ahead and get Mordred on this side. We'll get Peleus on the right side here. Uh, we'll have K run flex. So he's going to hold back. I uh, will just have him behind cover and then we'll get a vein right through here. All right, here we go and finish. You miss going to the arcade. Welcome to the deep. That's the one Russian attack. Dude! Da, 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 Dude, that is such a good game. They've got all the... He's like... Ch -ch 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 -ch. Oh, my God. Ah! And even Karateka. Oh, my God. They've got so many good games. All right. Overwatch up. We've got Peleus. Overwatch up. We've got Evain. Overwatch. And K. Reserve and hold. Evane's got a. Oh, he does? Holy crap, I didn't realize that. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, it's like insta kills. This is amazing. Dragon's Crown is so good. I heard of Dragon's Crown. I've never played Dragon's Crown. Are we. Wait. Is that the side scrolling kind of. It's like the, the newer version of Golden Axe, but it's very, like, less, like, very lewd. I went to loved it so much. Shame it was only on PlayStation platforms. Yeah, and it's on like the on the Vita and everything, right? Isn't it? I think. 
I could be wrong. Can we strike here? Good shot. Beautiful. And let's go into Overwatch again. Reserve. Overwatch. And Overwatch. Hold. Hold, hold. They've got like a, a Banshee or something. What in the world? Ah! What the heck does that do? Oh, dear God. What, what happened? What happened? What is this? Lose three AP for a turn. Oh, my God. Wow. All right. Well, that thing's got to go. That's horrible. Can I get a shot from here? They have good personalities. <laughs> okay. I, I think I get what Harry's saying now. He's not actually talking about their personality. Banshee, you called it. It's crazy. You can get emulators for all of these, but they are so trash compared to the arcade. I think the thing about the arcades is it's just it's a whole experience. Oh, hello. We've got baddies on this side. Uh, Harry, do you like that? I called them baddies. That's a very UK thing. Heck yes. And not the 95 ton. I know. I know. It, it could it could have been better. It definitely could have been better. All right. Crossover. There we go. Step it up. We got to We got to get to the undead before things go awry. Oh, my goodness. They've got zombies everywhere. Zombies everywhere. All right. Pull up. Overwatch to the four and go. Here they come. Cross it. The 3S is a viable platform. Oh, you're talking about finally no more whoosh. <laughs> the big box with cheap buttons required for fun. Dude, they've done some incredible things on those boxes, I gotta say. There's there's a whole subreddit, I think, for uh, people who want to make and build those things. They do such a cool job. All right, stun the Banshee, stun the Banshee. Good. I won't get a ping off. 15. We've got to clear those archers. I don't want to have to deal with them too much. So Evane is set. Send the ping. Oh, we're not close enough. All right. Oh, oh, crap. Attack of opportunity. My bad. I did not mean for that to happen. All right, send the shot. Send another. Good hit. All right, Peleus. Ping one. Ping two. Good hit. Reserve. All right, strike one. Good clear. And let's start moving for the flank now. We, we need to get out there. And so oh my God, how many are there? Dear God, this is horrible. Kill the Banshee to stop. Oh, they're the ones causing the spawning. Thank you so much, Serb. I didn't realize that. Uh, reserve. Get in, get in, get in. Hold. Hold. God, that shield is so useful at stopping your loss of armor. It's ridiculous. Come on, K. Come on, K. All right. Clear the way. Clear the way. There we go. All right, there's that. There she is. There she is. All right, K. Clear him. Good hit. Good hit. There we go. Tuck over. It's, it's up to Evane, pretty much. Can I get that shot on? Good hit. Yeah! <laughs> Crossbow's amazing. Heck yes. Oh my god. Coffee in Wiedelheim. It was out when I was working for PlayStation. Oh, you worked for... I think, I think I remember you telling me that. You worked for PlayStation? That's so freaking cool. Were you a tester garrison or what were you doing? Yeah. All right. Step it out. Tuck up. They're about to come back online. There we are. Uh, and reserve here. Oh, tech support. Heck yes. I'm curious if they get a, an immediate action as soon as they raise or if they just raise. All right. It seems like they just raised. That's not too bad. That's totally okay. But you can see we've applied bleed thanks to our improved strike. Let's go ahead and stun. King him one. He's got 30% vulnerability. Here comes K on the hit. Good hit. Strike again. Beautiful. We've got a vein. Nail him twice. Heck yes. Is that it? Is that it? Or do we have another? We've got another one. We got another one. All right, I guess we'll just uh, pull over. And this is pretty much over. This is actually really good. Hold. I help people when people had issues with three, three, three PSPs, three PSPs, minus two, but no one has those. Have you tried turning it on and off again? Dude, that is the first step. That is definitely the first step. Bunnies, do you remember when we were having issues with the stream and then we ended up, uh, I think it was just, yeah, it was on Saturday. We had issues with the stream and we just turned it off and turned it back on. <laughs> it totally worked. Oh my gosh, we're getting blues. 
Holy crap, we're getting blues. Oh, this this is fruitful. 223 gold. Talk about black market joy. You've got a Vita? I do as well. Heck yes. Uh, maybe we can play together. Heck yes. I had a Vita. I used it when I used to travel to still play whatever I had in the PS3 home. That was a neat feature. I remember trying to play Destiny by remote control while I was at work during lunch. Uh, that was difficult. <laughs> that was very difficult. Oh, what? There's new side missions? Oh my goodness. There is a lot more content. Holy crap, I was wrong. This is not our last stream of this. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. All right, let's take a look at what we can do. Sir Evane, what do we got? What do we got? Wow. Spend eight points to unlock. So we got fleet footed, gain one movement AP every single turn. So there's AP dedicated to movement. That's pretty incredible. We already got the Overwatch damage, damage dealt from cover. I mean, let's see, we've got shoot, gain two armor piercing. That is pretty freaking amazing. Direct hit for aim shot against extra damage, extra movement AP, aim shot range increased by two. Super, super helpful. I mean, obviously these are all nice. Killing a target reduces all cooldowns by one. He kills so many targets. I almost feel like we should almost definitely get this. Let's go grab that to reduce cooldowns. Damage increased by 20% against burning enemies or armor piercing. I feel like armor piercing is gonna be the most reliable damage. So let's go ahead and get that. That's incredible. Archers are so good. Content, content, seriously, but I only use it for Dragon's Crown. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> I've heard good things about Dragon's Crown, but I never tried it. I tried to get, you know, if I'm perfectly honest, I was trying to figure out games that Raven and I could play together and Dragon's Crown was one of them, but she looked at the art. She was like, I don't know. <laughs> so unfortunately, no. I thought you solved the internet issue Saturday with a dark ritual and dungeon with the spiders and dusty wine bottles. Well, speaking of dusty wine bottles, Prost, heck yes. You have spooters in your basement. It is true. We have a few, but it's nowhere near as bad as it used to be. All right, we've got Peleus. He's got the guard going. I feel like guard cooldown, bringing that down would be nice. Vitality increase. We've got... Let's go ahead and get him extra armor. He seems to be a really, really good tank. So we'll get that all set up. Uh, we definitely need... In Camelot, we definitely, definitely need to get um, some of these injuries gone. So it looks like Sir Balin. Sir Balin has been... Let's go ahead and cancel this treatment here. Is it? It's one more mission till fully recovered. Uh, let's let's bring two. We're gonna bring two archers in on the next one. I'm gonna go over to the hospice. We're gonna go ahead and drop in Sir K. Can we get him in there? Heal. Send a treatment. Seven hundred fifty. God, that's expensive. That's really really expensive. So obviously it doesn't really do to try and uh, pull them out because then you'll you'll lose on your investment. Yeah. You missed out. The art is silly, but the gameplay is awesome. Dude, I would love to try it. Yeah, gonna call it a night. HB and Bunnies have a fun stream. Surf, thanks so much for your help. Thanks so much for hanging out. And um, Bunnies, I really I really appreciate you. You always cheer me up. So, uh, you know, stuff hasn't been so great. I mean, yeah, but I I, I, I just really appreciate it. So thank you so much. I, 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 hope, I hope you all are uh, happy and doing well, yeah. Dragon's Crown Pro cross plays with the others, including Vita. Heck yes. Do we we need some new potions? That's what I gotta say. We need some new potions. So it seems like Mordred generally is doing really, really well. Let's go ahead and go for the for the double. We're gonna pull our healing potions off. Trophy rage. I'm I'm gonna go for the double archer on this one. We're gonna be completely overpowered. So we'll get this in here. We'll get the double potions going. We've got Peleus, we've got Evane. Uh, do we have any additional items that we can apply? Plus one movement AP when unharmed, plus one injury counter. Heck yes. Freaking glorious. Uh, do we have anything else here? Regain one armor on kill, regain one armor when drinking potions. I feel like the on kill might be the way to go. Regain two armor when drinking potions. Let's grab that. We're all stacked up. How about our armor right now? Look at this! Oh my god, this is incredible. Attackers suffer one damage regain for HP on rest. So I am definitely going to give this over to the incredible Mordred. The nice thing about this is that he gets extra bonuses from having additional HP. Yeah. All spooters must be purged. We have a truce with our spiders. As long as they keep their population under control, the cats help with this. They stick to the basement. We're cool. Dude, I got to say that Bella, Bella is really, really, really interested in all of the spooters. That is, that's just a thing that she's got going on that she loves. So um, I would imagine that she would be able to keep up with, with all the Joneses. 
All right, so let's see. Weapon-wise, do we have anything? We're at 558. Is there anything better armor-wise? Let's see. What, what do we have available? We've got this, this beauty. This costs 600. Let's sell all the rest. So we'll sell one, two, and three. That brings us to 600. We'll spend the big bucks, and we're broke again. <laughs> and we'll swap this over. Let's pull this out. We're actually going to bring two archers into this one. It's going to be kind of nuts because you got to remember that with this archer she's she's injured right now so it's gonna be it's gonna be difficult for her but we'll, we'll do our best all right here we go we got another mission i had no idea there was so much more left i thought that was it i have a whole backup game ready and everything i was gonna play some some pretty awesome stuff we'll see we've got island of the shrine we did burial mounds we've unlocked what is past the bridge of sorrow so let's go and check out bleeding cross monastery lightless ruins so what i want to do uh we're gonna go ahead and bring up a vein can I, can I do this here? No, hold up, hold up, hold up. We'll get Dindrin. Bring this back. Oh, does that not work? Here we go. Bring her up. There we go. Now we go. We've got four. Oh, can I not do that? Lightless ruins. It only brings those. Sir Kay, healing at the hospice. What about her? She's not healing at the hospice. Can she not? Oh, there we go. My bad. You just had to right click on her. The lightless depths of Avalon, this hide creatures that will test the wandering knights, just like the forest of this accursed island, but sometimes you will also find strange forgotten catacombs down there, guarded by deathless monsters. It really makes you wonder, how ancient is the Lady of the Lake anyway? How long has she been ruling over Avalon? So it says we've got to defeat a banshee in the catacombs. Obviously, we've done this already. Uh, as far as the catacombs go, kind of reminds me of maybe it's like we're going into a Diablo-esque type of scenario deep in a dungeon fighting against banshees. Who knows? It is a meme. I approve. You mean like spooders in the basement, potatoes in the crawl space, cicadas in the attic? <laughs> That's a lot of bugs. That is a lot of bugs. All right. We've got our four. Tell you what, we're going to reform our formation because we always want the archers to be in the back on this one. Ooh, really enclosed spaces kind of works out well for us. Are there any offshoots to the side? There is one back here. And I do see some loot over there as well. So just so we don't have to come all the way back, we're just going to look in this corner. It's completely clear. We've never been in an enclosed space like this before in this game. Should be helpful to us because generally we're just pretty much posting our tanks up and letting the archers do the work. And I know the bunnies were talking about... Ooh, hello! You feel like it will unleash the power Bless. I don't know what Bless does. So... I'm gonna give it to Dindrin. I'm not too sure what it does. Plus 25% damage until the end of the next encounter! Oh my god, this is crazy. Reminds me of checking Nooks in Diablo. Dude! This is amazing. Plus 25% damage. I never heard of Dragon's Crown you all spoke of. A quick Google shows it definitely is a cheeky title with a lot of personality. I've heard incredible things about it. I really, really have. Um, even just looking up reviews online or watching videos and stuff like that. So, I mean, like, it, it seems like it would be a really good game. Oh, no, we're surrounded. Not good, not good. Especially for archers. We're going to have to clear one side. Oh, dear God. All right, let's, let's clear one side and move the rest... So let's clear this backside and then keep our uh, our guys to the front here. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll stun one. We'll stun one to the side here. Get that stun off. We'll switch over to Dindrin. She's got a fire bolt. She's got a shot. Send it. Plus 25% damage. Heck yes. Send the second. Yeah. <laughs> they're so powerful. Oh my God. They're so powerful. Heck yes. And uh, we can... I love that they've got movement AP. That's kind of ridiculous. They've got free AP specifically designed for movement. Well, it looks like if we hold the line right here, we'll go into Overwatch on this side. Uh, we'll go in Overwatch here. That's going to cover this whole range. They're going to have to come around the outside, yeah? If I could choose one game to come to PC that isn't on it, it would be... Really, Harry? It's that good? You really recommend it that, that much, yeah? All right. Oh well, gosh, you've got me intrigued. What do you what do you like about it? I'm curious. Like what what is it most like? Well, like what 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 draws you to it? What what do you enjoy? We'll just clear out the middle. Send a shot to the back. Beautiful. We got Evane. 
Uh, we'll use that one AP movement. We'll clear the ones trying to get around Mordred and send. Gosh, this is almost easy with archers. Holy crap. Ping and Peleus. I mean, I know the tanks really don't do much damage, but oh my god. <laughs> Zombies goodbye. We were having a lot more trouble until we uh, really started leveling up and utilizing archers. Getting extra damage, I think, on that uh, the regular shot would be really, really useful. I would keep looking at the nooks, like Harry said, yeah? The combat is so technical. The skill, skill ceiling is way above my ability, and the themes of the levels and enemies are gorgeous. Ah, okay. I gotta say, I was a huge fan of Golden Axe. I was a huge fan of like Final Fight, like those side-scrolling fighting games. Um, but I, I never, never really gave too much thought what to. Is this uh, thing? What is what thing? The fire? You know what the fire is? Let's hold off on that. We might need it. It feels like a Diablo beat 'em up. Heck yes. Does it have like a lot of abilities and unlocks and uh, trees? I'm a huge fan of upgrades and trees. And gear, I assume. Because Diablo is very much, you know, like a uh, click looter shooter. I like Diablo 3. I know a lot of people don't, but I dig it. Oh, hello. Oh, there's the Banshee. We're here already? No way. Oh, she is. She's seen better days. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, we can stack them in two different locations. I almost feel like crossing from this area right here might be fastest. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to split up. I know that probably seems like a bad idea. So we're going to keep Mordred to hold this position. Uh, we'll have Yvain. I think this is probably the more vulnerable of the locations. So we'll have them over here. I'm going to have Peleus on this side and we're going to have Dindrin right here. So she's already in a firing position right here. And we're going to have Yvain. He's going to be right to the front and hold. Yes, and random loot stats on legendary effects. Oh, those are always the best. Plus skill trees for your guys so you can expect to play a certain way. Wow. I had fun with Diablo 3 once they got rid of the real money loot shop. Yes. I, I, we should we should all play together. I was a huge fan of rifts and running adventure mode. That was that was so freaking good. Uh, let's see, we got regular zombies, so we'll send a nice ping. We already know that we need to uh, get rid of the Banshee to stop them from all spawning. So we'll hold Granny Liao. What happened to you? Let me get you some help from the Chancellor. Nine. Nine. Sorry. <laughs> Wrong one. All right, get in there. Tax of opportunity. Line that up. Side step. Uh, we'll get behind cover here and reserve. I've got a title we could play together. What's that garrison? You're talking about Valheim? <laughs> See, it seems like it might be, but. I don't mind it. I wouldn't mind trying that game. I boycott Blizzard ever since the Hong Kong. Mmm. Hear you on that one. Hear you on that one. I've only heard good things about Valheim, but I have not tried it yet. Yeah. What do you like? Uh, what do you like about Valheim? Uh, should Should we try it? I mean, after this, like right now, I've got another game that I wanted to check out. But uh, I mean, we can definitely leave it up to a vote, I suppose. It's probably one of the best PS4 ports I've played. Controls felt really good on the PS4. For Diablo? I have heard that as well. I really wanted to get it just so that we could play on the TV or the projector. Because we actually have a projector out there, yeah? Well, let's go ahead and ping this guy. We want him clear, and we're going to start working on the armor. There's that bleed. Beautiful. All the armor's gone. We're going to be able to follow up with Yvain, get that aim shot. Good hit. And uh, we're all set here. Dindrin just needs to step up once. We'll use Firebolt. Good hit. Follow up. Good hit. All right, Peleus, get in there. Get in there. Stack it up. Stack it up. And hold. Check Steam after the stream ends. Ah, okay. What, what about what about checking Steam? You mean just to get it? Oh, if anyone's going to be able to guard here, it's going to be him. He's got the most armor for sure, and he also has the ability to raise armor for any any allies. I'm so glad we split up, bunnies. Otherwise, I would have hit all of us. So at least Dindrin's going to be able to get additional shots on. Come on, nail that Banshee. Oh, is she? she's out of line of sight now, huh? All right, step up, step up. 
Shot one. Shot two. Yeah! <laughs> They're so strong! All right, guard up, guard up. All right, let's go in and uh, strike away, strike away. 18. Oh, we got all his armor back when he came back online. Now we got it, Vayne. You kind of already got it. I've I've already got it. What do you mean? I've got how to how to play the game, or or what do you mean by that? And uh, we'll go in a reserve and hold. Goodness gracious! I like this combo. God, the archers are so strong. Yeah, Woosh Knight. Check this. You mean like it's going over my head? Yeah, I suppose so. I'm not exactly the uh, uh, the most crafty bunny. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't, cause I don't think I bought it yet. But I do, I do need to, uh, I do need to get it if I want to play it. I right, was burn this out. Heck yes, and send another. Follow it up for Peleus. Let's just go ahead and finish since they're the undead. We're just gonna finish them off. There's no point. Letting him be around. And she'll just step up one. Now we'll just get behind cover for one. Now let's move on up. We need to assist our allies. And hold. Oh, he died. What? Is that because of the burn? That's crazy. The burn did four points of damage. That's ridiculous. That's wild. We'll tell you what, bunnies. Here we go. It looks like Peleus has to get out of here. He has no more armor, so he's suffering full damage. Clear that. Aim shot. Want to clear our flank? Send it. Uh, let's see. Do we have shots on? Yes, we do. Beautiful. Heck yes. And go again. Heck yes. And push it on up. And hold. I'm going to help him out here, bunnies, because I can relate. Streaming really does consume half your brain. I believe Garrison means he gave it. Oh, if that's the case, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. My goodness. Thank you, Garrison. Thank you. I haven't heard of Rifts in decades. It was a great tabletop RPG. That is what I heard is one of the main systems. Yeah, uh, we'll get on over, send a nice ping. Yes, not too bad at all. I am digging the double archers. I almost feel like we can get away with three archers even. Or let's loot on up and we'll see what we got. Well, it's fun playing in Chi Town. I ran a Robotech Invid fighter with the motorcycle power armor. Motorcycle? Was that like, um, kind of like Mad Max, like armor that is made of motorcycle parts or something? <laughs> I couldn't stream and chew bubblegum at the same time. I can't stream at all. I, I have I have a hard time not streaming and doing chewing bubblegum at the same time. So that that is a thing. But yes, I am I'm not all here, I gotta say. So so my apologies. Oh, hello. Hello, loot. I'm so glad that we are that we're exploring. I've been dealing with Draugr and I cannot drop hints harder, but yes, that's what happened, Bunny Man. Dra Draugr? My god, I don't even know what that <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, that looks like a fight. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go pull back and go to the fire so we can at least get some of our armor back because that was getting really, really bad uh, for Lord Peleus. Yeah. Rifts was my favorite tabletop setting. I hated the rule set, though. Heavily modified hours. Fun story. It turns out even Simbita himself doesn't use his own rule set. I'm assuming he must be the creator of Rifts or something. Sim Simbita Simbita. All right, here we go. Obviously, healing. I guess we could we could use the healing here. Yeah, we'll go bandages. We'll heal. Transforming armor, kind of like how lambs can be plain, half plain, a robot. The armor can be a motorcycle or a suit of armor. Dude, that sounds amazing. What in the world? Is it like Akira? <laughs> you get the Akira motorcycle every time you need it. Draugr live in their graves, often guarding treasure buried with them in their burial mound. They are revenants or animated corpses with a corporeal body rather than ghosts which possess intangible spiritual bodies. So it's it's from Valheim is my assumption, yeah? Finish the rest of my posts. Oh, did I miss something, Mac? I'm so sorry. I forgot my last name of the game was Pendragon O and we landed in England. I will leave it to you what happened after that. 
in a ran in a Robotech Invid fighter with a motorcycle power armor. I was pentry. Did, did you turn yourself? Did you turn yourself into Arthur? <laughs> Mega damage can go to the devil. We always just played SCC stuff like TMNT, Ninja, Super Spy, Hero Unlimited, Recon, all with a Palladium SCC game system. I gotta say that, um, oh, what is this? <gasps> We've never seen one of these guys before. Is this a, a mage or a healer? Oh my God, that's new. And is he on our side? All right, looks like we've got two archers on the side here. Let's get Dendron posted up. And we'll ping Firebolt away. Start the burn and reserve i loved teenage mutant ninja turtles i've never played the uh the, the tabletop games at all but um god i dug that game or I, I dug the uh dug the lore all right peleus stack up uh, we should probably assist this guy i don't want him standing on his own he looks a bit uh a little bit weak so if they're going to try and get in front of him we'll tell you what let's go ahead and uh stun this guy right here if he's straight to the front and we'll reserve let's go i don't think he's going to be able to run straight in doesn't look like he can jump on down yeah try savage rifts it's rifts using the savage world's rule set much fun i just finished an adventure as an escape dog boy <laughs> dog boy oh he does have magic this is our first time seeing magic bunnies this is awesome it looks like we're gonna have to flip this around so let's clear the back. I don't know if he's going to deal with this instead. We'll use our archers. We'll send the shot. The and let's go into Overwatch. We'll just watch the left side. Uh, we can hit this one on the... Can we nail him? We're a little far off. Step it up. I do want to remove these guys from combat. And reserve. All right, Mordred is going to tuck up. We got to watch this side right here. And we're going into Overwatch like so uh, let's see we'll cross up really need to deal with this guy at the back once we clear him then we're really not gonna have to worry about too much so hold my first full tabletop rpg was teenage mutant ninja turtles i rolled up a cat assassin who was a drunkard burnout because of all the killing he had done <laughs> fair enough oh this guy's brutal holy crap blessing all right, Dendron, clear them out. Good hit. Burn them out. Evane, give him one. Actually, let's get maximum damage. We're going to move in and start clearing out some of the armor. So we're going to use Stigma here. That cleared two armor. Evane on the follow up now. Less armor to reduce the damage. He's got the one. We'll reserve. Hold there. We got Peleus. Let's finish this guy off one and two god i gotta say that it really seems to me that range combat is the way in this game because if you can just avoid taking any damage then your people aren't going to be in the hospital at all um so right now it seems like archers are incredibly strong yeah heck yes i promised myself i'm going to put together a proper tabletop game or group once this COVID nonsense is over well, you know what? If you're if you're curious on what that how that might run, I know Ruvian has a uh, has a consistent group that he plays with on a weekly basis, so that might be something to check with him. I don't know if, what he's doing now because I think he's I think he's still playing even during COVID, so it's very possible that there's uh, I don't know something's got going on. It was all about the possum with a machine gun. He had in a machine gun. What in the world? I had a mutant wolverine named Logan. Original, I know. I am still alive. What the hell are you doing here alone? I came to these catacombs to die, but it seems the Lord still has a purpose for me. We saved you, so now your life belongs to us, and we could really use another hand. I concur if you fail, I can still find a good death down here. Dude, wait, is he a permanent ally? Oh my god! bunnies we finally have a mage heck yes dude this is incredible i am so glad that we came out here well let's definitely get over it seems that we could recover some armor on this one because we are now completely out of armor well, i'm so glad that we're exploring if we didn't explore we'd miss out on so much armor smith kit for sure rest kill repeat 
<laughs> instead of live, love, and, and uh, whatever that is. All right, gosh. And then it looks, we've definitely got to fight over here. I can already see the enemies on the field. I feel like we can probably come through the bottom side there. So let's head on in. Gosh, this is a huge map. Wow, we really do have a lot more content. I did not expect this. I came ready. I came ready with other titles. Oh my god, this looks bad, but amazing. What the heck's going on here? Uh. Which one will die first? Well. What? Wait, what is coming in five? Stop the dark conjuring five turns left. <laughs> Oh no! Uh, Alright, so it looks like we might have to deal with the zombies at the edges in order to stop it. Uh, let's see right here. We've got a lot of melee guys. We've got one, two archers here. Can we come in from these sides? I don't think we've unlocked these zones, so we can only deploy from this side right here. Okay, so this is fine. Let's just go ahead and get Dindrin. Oh, oh, I guess this is where we're at. Alright, fair enough. We'll just sidestep one. Send in a nice shot. Fifteen. And follow it up. Defend yourself. Are we cleared one? So that did take off one of these tendrils going to the center there. So that's good. Uh, let's see. We've got Peleus. We'll tuck over behind cover here. A giant glowing circle on the floor is a never good. No, it's not. This does not look like a good thing. Not at all. All right. Aim shot. Full damage. Beautiful. Backstab damage. All right. Let's cross it up. Full sprint. Full sprint. Let's go. We got it. We got to close. So we're, they're going to sweep through the left. And hopefully wrap up this guy as they spin around and our archers are going to go over to the right here. Oh, we've got Sir Ector. Holy crap. Can you imagine if we didn't actually take the time to get Sir Ector? We would be down. Oh, look at this curse. Target is slowed for two turns. Shoots an arrow of raw energy to the target, dealing 100% damage range of eight. We've got a full four. That's eight damage. What about let's let's slow this guy. Let's slow him down. Maybe he can't close the distance. Yeah. And then we'll just go in and reserve and hold. By the way, yes, I did get an Excalibur as I was a descendant of Arthur. Oh my! <laughs> Both cycle and power armor. Oh my god, what in the world? <laughs> you look badass! Holy crap, it looks like you could be out of like Legos or something. The Cyclones are cool as hell in my old Rifts game. The SDF3 misjumped and ended up returning to Rifts Earth. One of my players was a Cyclone. Send out as a long range scout. It was great because none of the other players were familiar with Robotech. My God. I was getting in here. We're going to go ahead and stun the Archer. And then we'll close up. Tuck up, tuck up. All right, Dendron. Uh, definitely want to eliminate some of these guys on the side. That's 12. Follow it up. Good hit and clear. All right, push up. Uh, let's see, we've got Sir Ector. We'll go one. We'll go two. He is slowed. Evane. Send one and two. There we go. So we got to we got to safeguard these guys because you got to remember that we don't actually have access to any sort of uh, melee specialist. Just close the gap. Close the distance with anyone who has range, yeah? You didn't get Excalibur installed in the bike as a gauntlet blade. I like the look of the blade very... You can do that? Holy crap, that sounds amazing. That's ridiculous. All right, step it in, step it in. And ping one. And reserve. Clear the armor, clear the armor. Send one. This deals eight damage. Heck yes, beautiful. All right, we need we need to move pronto. Actually, I'm changing changing the plan. We're we're crossing over left as Evane crosses over right because we need to hit that guy out there. He's going to be responsible for him. Now we've got Whoa. three turns. Three turns. Probably my favorite campaign as a GM because you end up with some bizarre combinations like what was mentioned before. Let me Sing it out. Size. We'll stun one. Uh, we got Dendron. Send it. 12. Send it. Two. Heck yes. All right, we're just, we're just ending people. It's not guaranteed deaths just yet. Hector, I think, is just going to do cleanup. 
start this up. Eight. That's only going to be 16 points of damage. This is the one that's coming online the soonest. Uh, we'll step up. Step one. Aim shot. Good hit. Ah, uh, no. Full speed. Full speed. Full speed. Go. Dude, this is not bad. I think we've got this. All right, get over there. Finish this shot. Hold. Oh, we got Dindrin. We have one turn left, bunnies. We have one turn left. Shot. Are we more Drids? Oh, we can't. Oh, no. All right, what about Peleus? Peleus? Come on, Peleus. We're not in range. We're not in range. <laughs> Bunnies, we're not in range. Oh, no. Uh, all right. All right. Can we? Oh, no. We misplayed this. Oh, no. <laughs> what the heck? What are we going to do? Uh, all right. This is fine. Nope. Nope. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Or just tuck it up. Tuck it up. Well, we might as well. There's one. Something's going to spawn it. Cross your fingers. Do we have one? No. <laughs> we effed up. Oh, no. We went. Oh, no. That's not good. All right. Um, What the heck is this? Oh, is it? Is it just a Banshee? Is that a Banshee? Oh, it's just a Banshee. That's not bad. We can totally. We can, we can handle this. We'll just, you know, we'll just ping her one. Oh, this is. Ah, this is fine. We've got a vein. He's going to backstab. Oh, she's dead. <laughs> Oh my god. They're so strong. They're so strong. This is ridiculous. I, I I can't even. God, they're so strong. Wow, yeah. I hope they don't nerf them, but I would totally understand if they did. You know what I mean? This is like having the large coil and an assassin or something, I swear. Alright, we'll ping this guy. I guess we'll just move on up. Where's Cthulhu when you need him? <laughs> no kidding. Alright, and ping. And ping. Oh, we're done. There we go. I'm curious what we get out of this. Did we get anything special? What else can you end up with? A cyclone, a polymorph dragon hatchling, a dwarven cyber knight, and a demigod fighting off hordes of vampires in Mexico. <laughs> but did he have real Mexican cola? That's a real question. Ooh, special potion and a lucky charm. That means that our archers are going to become even more powerful. You got to remember that the lucky charm guarantees the maximum damage on Overwatch. It's going to be incredible especially coupled with the increased damage on overwatch which is one of the skills that they have so i can't i can't even imagine how much damage they're going to do especially if you had them with crisscrossing fields of fire It'd be absolutely incredible uh well let's just keep looking it seems like we might have explored the entire dungeon at this point there's very little left to look at oh never mind i stand corrected oh is that all <laughs> All right, this is fine. This is fine. All right, it looks like they gave us five. I'm curious if this was the case just because we have Sir Ector with us. You got to remember that the last time this that this happened, uh, we actually ended up with four people on both sides. My assumption is that that only happened because uh, we only had four people in this case. I assume that they have it where we're where we might potentially have one per party member. Yeah, so we'll just send that. Uh, we got Peleus. He's going into Overwatch to the front. We got Mordred. He's going to go into Overwatch to the front and hold. Gotta sleep. Good luck with the zombies. Harry, thanks so much for hanging out. Really ha nice having you here. Hopefully you have a great night. We'll catch you later, man. And uh, on Thursday, we'll be running a brand new release candidate. Yeah. Let me God, this is so clean with archers. It's so different now. I would imagine if we hold out and buy the epic weapon for them for the archer this will this is just going to be like a cakewalk all right send one send two close range god there's no accuracy penalty as well at close range i thought that might be a thing ping glorious all right peleus guard up and overwatch sidestep behind cover go one to the outside i don't want to have to worry about them going around 
Uh, this costs us three. And we'll slow him just so that he can't get around us, yeah? And uh, let's hold it. Nice hit. I guess. Hey, bunnies, have... Those of you who like Diablo, have you ever heard of Wolfson? That was something that I've always wanted to try. I've heard, though, that it's something that only gets really good, like, after you beat it, and you're kind of in their version of adventure mode. But it's definitely something that I've wanted to try. I've heard that it, it can be really fun, yeah? What'd you say about Lucky Charms? That was one of my favorite PCs. <laughs> no, the Lucky Charm is uh, an accessory that you can get here, and it makes sure that when you have it equipped on a marksman, or I guess a markswoman, that they've got the ability to do, it guarantees them doing maximum damage when they shoot people on Overwatch, which is absolutely incredible, especially if you've got things that increase the damage that you do on Overwatch. All right, so we max it out. Let's go ahead and finish this up. Looks like we can do one more side mission on this one. We're getting all the experience. Beautiful. There it is. Regain 40% armor. That'd be really good on Peleus. Overwatch attacks always deal maximum damage. Holy crap! Marksman only apostates talisman. Minus 50% damage received from backstabs. Plus one AP. Oh my goodness. God, they have so much stuff here. We're getting a lot of good stuff. Sir Ector joined our court. That is fantastic. Well, let's stop by Sir Mordred. We got another two points to apply. I mean, the strike, we're already causing bleed. Gain one AP when killing an enemy with strike. Our stigma is almost maxed out. The fact that it would last for one extra turn of vulnerability seems really, really good. Um, spend four points to unlock this. 25% HP from armor type items. I mean, with this, we kind of don't really need it right now, if I'm perfectly honest. Uh, we can get the one AP when killing an enemy with strike and stigma lasts for one turn, plus two HP. Every dot effect affects the hero for one less turn, 20 mineral resistance. I'm just going to get the extra HP. It seems going to be really, really huge. Look at that, 56, 57 on that. That's, that's nuts. Absolutely nuts. Well, let's stop by Peleus. It seems like a really, really good group here. Uh, what I would like to do is use the new potion. So I'm going to give this to Peleus. He's going to be able to heal himself for 40% armor. He loses a lot of it since he's at the front quite a lot. Uh, let's get that lucky charm in. Beautiful. We'll get that into our other archer. That's really, really, really good. And then instead of this, overwatch attacks always deal maximum damage. It's already has that in there. We'll just pull this down. We'll give him that extra AP on the vein. And then out of this, we're looking at plus two AP in the first turn of every encounter. Plus one movement AP, one unharmed, plus one injury counter. Ah, uh, you know what? The AP in the first turn of every encounter actually seems to be really useful because you can get some serious damage out, maybe just kill people outright, right off the bat. So we're going to go with that instead. Uh, Armor-wise, 11 and 2. I think we're okay there. Weapon-wise, do we have anything better here? This is 9, 12, and 15, plus 2 damage against unarmored enemies. Obviously, that happens more often, but this deals more damage to armor. Plus 2 damage to burning enemies. I am not really seeing that very often. Uh, so we're looking at Peleus here. Does he have anything better? Not really. So let's go ahead and stop by the hospice. This guy's going to be in for two more battles worth. And I think I think we're going to gain back. He's one turn away from healing bruised. Okay, that's fair. One more fight for that. So let's stop by the merchant. Or better yet, we're at 560 and 550. Is it possible to get another slot? Because that would be really useful, right? Maybe not under HP, but under the Cathedral. Upgrades. Unlock certain blessing skills. Injury treatment cost reduced by 10%. Injury treatment time reduced by 1. Unlock second hero slot. There we go. That's what we want. This is what we want. Uh, who, who can we cure, though? Balin is here. He's already in there. We've got Sir Kay. Or better yet, healing of HP. Do we have the second slot? 500 and 500. We'll go in and upgrade that. And let's get Sir K in there. Can we do it? Vitality healing is already in. What Sir Balin's already in there. And I guess Dindrin could go for 50, but that might not be worth it. My bad. What if we go all melee on or all um all ranged? What can this guy have? I mean, obviously he can have two eight. Two potions, that's fine. We'll upgrade him out of common stuff. We don't really have any 
any staves for him so let's hold off on that and in the meantime i guess we can we can also use this as well this can apply to anybody oh that's new that's actually really good one armor on kill i almost feel like we should be using we should be using this right here we should get that on him there we go all right we'll go into one more what i'd like to do so we can't do the Bridge of Sorrow. I'd like to do one after the Bridge of Sorrow. So we got Brookdale here. Defeat all three undead leaders. Heck yes, let's go. All right, bunnies. This is going to be our last one for tonight. And then on the next stream... Let me see. On Tuesday, next Tuesday, I'm thinking of either running the game we were going to run after this, at least just to check it out. Um, or I suppose I can look at Valheim. I can look at Valheim on my time off and then I'll see if uh, it's something that maybe we can run, yeah? Our armor is still down here. Looks like we only have one way to go straight forward. Uh, we'll change formation again to keep our archers on the back. What in the name of the Lord? Curious what the leaders are going to be like. If they're just going to be regular enemies or if they're going to be special, special fighters with special abilities or something. Are we at a cemetery? Kind of reminds me of the, the game of the same name Dark Wood. I believe there was a, a game like that that we played on Halloween, yeah? Oh, bandits! Is it the heavily armored guy back there? Do I ever grow tired? Look at this. So we've got... These guys are bad. They've got two melee attacks. They're absolutely horrible. And then we've got this fully armored guy. Got a lot of these guys. So we have one archer, two archers, three archers. Three archers and a lot of guys up front. All right, let's go ahead and get Mordred. We'll stack him. We'll get Peleus. We'll stack him. Blessings. Dindrin. Can she stay? I guess she'll stay behind cover here. Now we got a vein. I don't know if they can shoot through all this, though. That I don't know. I guess we stack here and finish. Does he have shots? He doesn't. So in that case, we're going into Overwatch here. We'll get Dindrin. She'll stack here and go into Overwatch. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to pull Mordred back. I know that seems a little strange, but I want to make sure that I'm not in their line of fire. So we'll pull back here and Overwatch here. And hold. Here they come. Because I want them to have full fields of fire, yeah? Heck yes? Heck yes. <laughs> it's so powerful. Holy crap. You gotta remember that Lady Dendron right now has plus two AP because of her accessory on the first turn of the encounter. So that's super useful. And being able to stay put means we're not triggering any of these traps on the ground. So I suppose it eliminates some of some of the strategy here, but super, super helpful for sure. All right, she's got a line of sight issue. So we're gonna be working with Evane. Send shot for 20. I will send it to him again. Good it. And uh, holy crap, we can shoot again. All right, fair enough. I dig it. All right, Dendron. Overwatch it up if they want to come on through. And we'll hold this position. And overwatch. Hold. Here they come. Good it. God, their archers are going to be the real issue here. But we can probably clear them pretty quickly with uh, with Evane. I'm just glad that we don't have to deal with um, the undead archers, because those could be a little dastardly. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to stun this guy here. The reason why we're doing that is so that we can reposition Peleus. He's going to pull forward, and he's going to smack the archer in the back for one. Uh, we should be able to get some solid, solid shot. And that guy, aim shot. Uh, let's pull Mordred forward. He's going to posi position himself so that he's close to all of them. Granted, he's making himself a little vulnerable to rear attacks. Uh, so we'll just step on out. Good hit. It'll allow us to ping. This guy will start the burning. Defend yourself. Good hit. Uh, we'll pull it back a little bit. Uh, Mordred. And go. Here we go. We are ready. 
Oh my god. Oh, I'm telling you, those guys are dastardly. They can hit twice. They're ridiculous. Ooh, come on, Mordred. Hang in there, Mordred. All right, before anything goes too awry, let's ping this guy one. We're actually going to tuck in together, and I'm going to use guard. So obviously, Mordred's in this area. That gives Mordred back two armor. Definitely need to end that guy. That's for sure. That yeah, will ping. Love it if we can get some vulnerability on this guy. I'm assuming this guy's the, the leader. All right, step it up. This guy's done. Heck yes. Beautiful. And now it is four on one. That is huge. That's going to be huge for us. Well, let's go in a reposition. If he wants to get at us, he's going to have to go around our shield line. Start oh, pinging. Now we got a vein. And the bleed. Beautiful. Enemy down. Clicked on a ROG tab and then poof, Twitch was gone. As I was saying, I have a Saber variant that had the Vibro Blades. Excalibur was a handheld on top of that. This is what it looks like. Oh, hey. <laughs> that's exactly what they were talking about. They said that uh, it would be cool. Did you mount Excalibur? And it looks like that you did. <laughs> that's awesome. You obviously came prepared. All right, we definitely need our, need our armor back for Mordred. Poor guy, lost it all in that engagement. I'm assuming destroy all undead leaders. So those weren't even any of the... Oh, we're back. What in the world? It's the same map. Look at this. We're on the same exact map. Oh, that's crazy. Well, I guess that's one way to do it. Well, let's pull it on down. Looks like there's enemies right here. And they're undead. All right, they have a spawn point that we have to push towards. Otherwise, they're going to keep spawning zombies. They're right back here on purpose. Oh, we got two archers on this side. So let's go ahead and split it. We got Mordred. It's going to break over to the left. And we'll stun the lead here. And we'll just tuck up. God, that stun is so strong. It is so strong. All right, we're going to get right into our attack of opportunity range. And, uh, oh, look, the zombies have clothes. <laughs> Holy crap, they're clothed. That's amazing. All right, fair enough. Well, we'll get that shot off and that zombie. Tuck it over. We need to get an angle, if at all possible. Burn this guy out. And we really do. We're, we're gonna we're gonna start centering ourselves, just so that we can get closer and start pinging this thing. Hopefully on the uh, the turn after this next one, yeah. Oh, not good, not good. Guard is gonna. Oh, behind us! Holy crap! All right, let's take care of business. Got to clear the rear. Oh, holy crap. Wow, that's not good. Well, uh, all right, Dindrin. It's a necessity. All right, Mordred, push it up. Stack up, stack up. Get in there. Keep that guy busy. Get behind cover here and reserve. Mordred, reserve. Get guard. Increase our armor. And hold. Oh. So I'm curious who the undead leader is, though, because it says that we have to deal with three of them, right? God, he's just holding his own. Dear God. God, so much loss of armor. All right, we're going to stun the archer. Stun the archer first. Clear the armor there. So you got to remember we do increase damage against unarmored opponents just side step one we're going to clear the left side so that dindrin can get around that side shall bleed. there we go and Defend send yourself. and 13 roll high oh, <laughs> oh drat 
didn't happen. All right, swing away, swing away. Gotta run, bunnies. It's been a blast hanging out while I blew up some Davian oppressors. Good night, all. Friend, thanks so much for hanging out. I hope you have a really, really great night. We'll catch you later, man. Have a good night. All right, we'll start working the edges. This guy's already busted, so focus fire on the damage guy. This guy's running very, very, very low on armor. Nine nine capellans. <laughs> Oh, Nelly. Oh, Nelly. God, they're just shooting right past our armor. This is ridiculous. Oh, there he goes. All right, swing one, swing two. We can finally clear the spawner. We got to deal with the archers as well. Good hit. And we'll tuck into cover. Beautiful. We got a vein. We need the shot to clear through the armor. Beautiful. And we've got Peleus finish off this guy and Mordred is going to start sucking into these guys we're going to come around the opposite side and hold sleep well blue fisted one <laughs> all right stun the full tuck it on in attack of opportunity uh, we'll get Peleus to start working these guys down. One, two. Clear the undead, double tap. And get behind cover, reserve. We got a vein, clear one, clear two, I guess. And step it up, reserve and go. Thing one. <laughs> Thing two and three. All enemies are down. Now it's just a matter of cleanup. Peleus to clean. Evane. Clean. And Dindrin. Clean. Heck yeah. <laughs> Heck yes. Oh, 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 there's more. There's more. Oh, my bad. My bad. I didn't realize there's more. All right. Overwatch out. Overwatch. And go. Yeah! <laughs> God, it's like a puzzle. It's so much fun. I gotta say, they, I really dig this game. I, I really can't wait till this comes out. I think this is amazing. All right, so it seems like we haven't really destroyed any of the undead leaders. I see three encounters left. Uh, obviously, armor-wise, we are really low. So what we're going to do, we're going to head over to the right. It looks like we've got a fire that we can use over there. So I'm assuming one of the undead leaders is over there because there's really only three groups that I see left. Yeah. Oh, what the world? There we go. That's a leader. Ambush. Which one will die first? Oh! Oh, hello. Archers shooting right from the get-go. Not good, not good. So we got two archers that we got to take care of here. That shouldn't be too bad for our archers this time. Ooh, losing vitality. We really need to heal. All right, first things first, we're going to stun the big guy. Start working on this guy's armor here. Yeah, this is going to hurt. Seriously, they've got a serious advantage. All right, we got that bleed going. Guard up. We're giving armor back to all of our allies. That's huge. So aim shot. That's going to bypass this, bypass this armor. Guy is down. Beautiful. All right. And hold. We'll back, back pedal one. I don't think anyone's behind us right now. Oh, holy crap, Tank. This is why you need the <laughs> MK2. Tank, thank you so much for the redemption. Are you sure you want to do that at the very end of the stream? Well, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the redemption. We've got the Neuro Helmet 2.0, and we are fighting against the first of the undead leaders. Heck yes. Thank you. Oh, what are we going to do? We I'm so glad that we have this extra 2 AP up front. Um, if we could ping these guys, I'll be really helpful. Sidestep. I guess we'll try and... If we can clear her, Mordred and Peleus already went. So it's pretty much just Dindrin. So let's get behind cover. She does extra damage shooting from cover. We'll try and clear this zombie. That's one. Oh, Drat, that's not going to fly and clear that. There you go. 
Hey, Tank, no worries. No worries at all. Seriously, I'm, I just, I'm appreciative of the fact that you wanted to hang out with us, yeah? Just no worries. Was playing games with a friend? Heck yes, I'm glad. I'm happy for you, man. I'm glad you got to be, visit your friends and uh, play with them, yeah? Right now, we are hoping to survive this. This is a little bit rough. God, guard really helped us out here. Seriously, it did. Alrighty, Vane. First things first, we really have to clear out these uh, archers in the back. Come on, Dindrin. Deal 12. Good. Deal 12. Heck yes. I'm really curious. What are these fives? What is this? These things on the ground. Does this... I'm seeing like pots or something. I, I don't really know what they do. I mean, I, I suppose they're a valid target, so we might as well do it. So we'll get a shot off. All right, we hit a pot. I don't know what that does. <laughs> might as well shoot the other pot. I don't want to find out. That seems horrible. All right, Mordred. Well, let's swing one. There we go. Uh, this is going to cost us three. That'll leave us with nothing afterwards. So we're just going to prep Overwatch. I'm going to sidestep here. And we're going to get our shots off. One shot off. And uh, we'll pull back, yeah? Can you set it on fire? Oh! Oh my god, I think you're right. Probably could. Uh, I'd, how do I do? Oh, I guess she does have a firebolt. Holy crap, we gotta test that out. Oh boy, here it comes. Ugh. Holy crap. All right, stun him, stun him, stun him. Drop the armor. Clear some of the armor. Clear all the armor. There we go, beautiful. All right, uh, Peleus, Peleus, Peleus. Swing in, swing in. One two oh this guy's this guy's simple oh this guy's easy owl ping one all right so here's where we test it we've got a fire bolt it doesn't look like i can target the ground though i wonder if maybe if i target target the pot with a fire bolt that might be the way to go but let's go in and just work the boss yeah get two burning get like uh two dots on him yeah all right evain step it up Let's go aimed shot. Good. One leader down, two left to go. Beautiful. Obviously, we've got to deal with these guys as well. Uh, we'll just hold here. Stack her up, stack her up. Ping one. Ping two. God. Oh, I love, I love archers in this game. Granted, we haven't really gotten to mess around too much with Sir Ector. I would imagine that he can do a, some serious damage. Magic, usually in video games, I find that you can bypass armor most of the time. <laughs> Another notch on my blade. We seriously, I'm, I'm torn though. Like, obviously we need a lot of vitality, but getting half our armor back might be pretty amazing. But I know there's a fireplace over here, so I kind of feel like we need the vitality. It, it, it sucks because obviously we're losing out on armor. But we really need to heal that because I don't want to go into the green. I have a new mech I cobbled together. I think you'll like it. I'll show it to you on Thursday. Heck yes. Thank you so much, mech. Uh, honestly, I really, really appreciate it. There's so many builds out there. It's always cool to see the different ways that you can play. Yeah. See, the bunny ears made this possible. Yes, they did. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tank. It's really good to see you, man. All right, let's cross over to the left and then we'll finish down south finally. It's going to be hopefully smooth as can be. We got another undead leader. We have two more undead leaders. Is it a is it a brawler mech? Or or what what are we talking about here? Uh we have no archers. This is really really good for us. So let's get in here. We're going to go ahead and go into Overwatch. We'll stack this up. We'll go into Overwatch again. There's no way they'll be able to get through this choke point. Uh, here we go. Set it. Aim shot. Boom. Good hit. Uh, we'll get behind cover as well. Send a shot. Finish him off. Heck yes. Beautiful. And hold. Oh, what? He's got auras? What the heck does that do? Heck yes, you're not getting through. Oh, wild. He's got... What the heck's that aura do? I wonder if we kill him, will the auras go away? 
Does it like regen? It kind of looks like the re regaining of armor. That we have a potion that allows us to regain armor. I think it's on Peleus right now. So like if we drink this, regains 40% armor. Kind of the same color, yeah. I'll give you a hint. It's usually a one-shot insta shutdown. <laughs> that now isn't. Is it a, a Mecha Godzilla? <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. I, I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm really curious what you've come up with, yeah? All right, stun him up. Stun him up. Overwatch. There we go. Uh, let's see. Does he have shots on? He doesn't have shots from here, surprisingly. I don't know about Dindrin. Nova Prime. Burn it through. Oh, we might need to assist. We're going to backpedal and send one. And... Oh, we don't have enough for two. Oh, that's not good. That means Dindrin might get hit on this next one. That would be really bad. Cross your fingers. Cross your fingers. Cross your fingers. God, that's what I was worried about. I was really worried about that. We, They're so squishy and he's in melee. I thought we were behind cover. Didn't, didn't gauge that correctly. Finish that guy. There we go. Hang out. Think bigger. Bigger than a Nova Prime. Is it a super heavy? Alright, no shots here. There we go, there we go. It's not. Novas are 50 ton. So not a super heavy. Blessings. Alright, we're gonna work this one. Work them work the dead and let's pull away because i don't want to be in that same situation that, that was a little too much for me and uh we'll go follow up there we go and hold you'll show me ah! <laughs> you can, no you don't have to you can wait till thursday if you want that's totally fair all right stun the boss dendron set send a ping you know my clan mechs are not on point. I like clan mechs. I think they're amazing. Oh, people are asking. All right. I'm totally fine with this. I do not mind. All armor gone. Beautiful. Finish targets. All armor gone. And now it's a vein. All right. Sidestep it. Always finish the targets. maximum 26 and hold god the stun the stun is you can't do this without the stun just a cc is insane all right we're gonna finish this guy here and i love the fact that when he's hitting he's actually gaining health back yeah all right guard up so we're giving ourselves extra armor and here we go. Just ping away. You kids in your fancy schmancy clan mechs. I like my mechs cobbled together in hundreds of years old. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, old is good in Battletech. I mean, that's kind of uh, that's kind of the name of the game. All right, leader down. All right, so we got two leaders down. Not bad, not bad. And hold. I love the fact that you can make them bleed. <laughs> They're undead, but you can make them bleed. Freaking glorious. And the fact that we gained ourselves another AP means we can hit four times. It's so ridiculous. Plus one AP on the kill. It's amazing. Not too bad. Not shabby. All right. We've only got one left and it's down south. Obviously, we've got to be a little bit careful with poor Dendron. Uh, she's, she suffered uh, a grievous blow. Oh, we got a shrine. Can we get a blessing? You feel like it would unleash the power. Regain armor. Heck yes. All right. I, I want this on. Uh, I want this on Mordred. There we go. We needed the armor. Really, really did. So we can close the distance. All right. Last one, bunnies. Last one. God, I, I, I'm just so stoked about getting experience and getting loot and upgrades. Upgrades are like my favorite thing in the world. It's like instant gratification. 
Ooh, all right, well, we definitely want to clear these two flanks and then focus the Banshee. And then after that, we'll deal with all the rest of them. So what we're going to do, we're going to start with Evain. Get a nice shot to the left. And uh, we'll ping again. Let's ping for two. Uh, we got Dendrin. Send one. Send two. So that clears our sides. Uh, we'll go ahead and bring Peleus up. Heck, I mean, should I? You know what? We're just going to close straight with a Banshee. This seems like a bad idea, but that, that's what we're going to do. I know that uh, we might get backstabs, and that would just be horrible. But um, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And we're going to face forward like this. We're going to change our facing. Uh, Dindrin, pull back behind cover. Evain. Uh, we'll just sidestep one and hold. See what she does. Oh, okay. Well, yep. For the next turn, should have stunned her. I should have stunned her. My bad. At least we have the armor on Mordred. Oof. Here is the design. Oh, thank you, Meg. Oh, what? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at this. Look at the damage. Look at the heat efficiency, the durability. <laughs> How the hell did you max everything out? Oh, my God. Man, you know what? The ones with the flames, they go faster. That looks amazing. Wow, you've got you've got quite a hot rod daishi there. <laughs> That's incredible. Congratulations, man. That looks amazing. All right, there we go. We got our stun off. That's going to be super helpful. Uh, we'll start clearing these guys. Get through the vitality on it. Uh, let's see, we got Peleus. Guard up, guard up. The paint job looks sweet. Darn straight it does. You're a really good job. Now we're going to face this way and reserve. Okay, so can we ping it from here? Good hit. All right. She's pretty much done already. It's kind of ridiculous. Burn her out. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Your God. Easy peasy mode. Her zoomies are both many and destructive. I have a hot rod. Die. <laughs> She's so cute. Do you have any newer pictures of her garrison? I'm like an uncle that wants to see what's happening with his niece. <laughs> it's just a light wound. Heck yes. Oh, she's such a cutie. I remember you showed me pictures and you were like, I'm not counting. I'm not counting down the days until she's here. And ping. Oh my God. Oh, this is too good. God, this is amazing. Oh God, the fact you get AP on kills is insane. You can just keep burning through all of them. That's one. I guess we'll just tuck it up. I mean, it doesn't really matter because Dindrin's going to be able to get that shot on. Uh, she'll just sidestep one, send the ping. I guess. Is that it? Is that it? I don't see any others that we got to deal with, right? Just go into Overwatch and hold. Oh, whoa! Okay. Oh, jeez. Did not. Okay, didn't see that coming. But we didn't see. Oh, boy. That is not good at all. Okay, I, I misplayed that horribly. Oh my gosh. Six ER PPCs. Prototype double heat sinks galore. Wow. Predator tracker. Increased rangefinder. Very, very nice. Wow, that looks amazing. Dear God, I can't believe you fit that all on there. That looks amazing. And the fact that it's that heat efficient. God, oh, that's incredible. That's a lot of prototype double heat sinks, though. Congratulations, man, on that build. That's insane. All right, well, let's see. Let's go in and try and get that, get this kill here. And then we're going to send st Stigma. Stun that guy so that he can't do anything. And uh, we'll just tuck it over. We got to assist. See, we got Peleus. Start burning through the armor here. Send the one, send the two. Uh, reserve. Okay, so we really have to help out poor, poor Dindrin. One, two. So we cleared that. The Lord is my witness. Golly, she got worked. Can we get step up one? Shots. Do we have shots? Side step. Send the burning. And she can't get more shots on. All right, behind cover, behind cover. We got to do it. We got to get back. I'll pull behind cover for everybody. And, uh, 
Okay, how's our facing? Facing's okay. Facing's okay. The only two active are right here, because this guy's stunned for this turn and the others are recovering. Well, I guess this is appropriate for the last fight. We're about to go into our vitality, so we're going to go ahead and use our healing potion. We're going to get 50% of our HP back. We'll smack this guy one. That's going to allow us to remove his last armor. And then with that bleed, we're going to follow up with Peleus. We'll get our health back there with a potion. Plus two heat on alpha. Wanted to put on upper recoil mounts. Didn't have the will. Oh my god. Oh, that would be brutal. That sounds amazing. Get that one. Guard up. Blessings. Our Dindrin. Finish the archer. Finish. Uh, let's see. What about Evane? I guess Evane could start cleaning up. But he's got to he's got to get out here. We, we, we got to get a central position. Aim shot. We'll finish this guy. Boom. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll just start working on the guy on the side here. Obviously, we have to worry about the um, this archer out back. Yeah. This guy's going to shoot next. But we have the health for it. OK, stun him again. Clear who's closest to three all right we got a kill so we got back one ap we'll stack up attack of opportunity it alphas all the time how many ppc fired at once dude that is insane yeah the i i noticed the heat neutrality that's incredible i mean if you look at the the base dire wolf yeah what was it like 13 ppcs 13 er ppcs that that's just ridiculous i like the fact the hint was it normally will shut down <laughs> That is so true. Ping one. Beautiful. We got Peleus. God, this is all over. All over. Now it's just clean up. Send one. Beautiful. And a vein going wide. Hold. And hit and hold. Oh, seriously, third ambush? Really? Oh, there we go. How the heck? That's crazy. We'd love to try that mech mobile murder turret. Heck yes. We did it. All three. Let's go in and get that final loot. Rune for one handed weapons. I think we are a go. Not too bad, bunnies. Not too bad. I'm curious. What our level ups are going to look like. We've got a lot of additional gear. There we go. Look at that light armor. Minus two damage received from ranged attacks. Super, super helpful. Especially when you're ambushed like that. Let's go ahead and get our level ups. See, we got Sir Peleus. So the guard is incredibly helpful. Robust, extra HP from armor. I mean, his one issue right now. See, plus one armor, extra range, guard cooldown. AP in the turn following the one when guard is used. Obviously, that's really helpful, but I feel like we're going to want to get minus one AP for the first attack on any targets in the turn. Uh, having guard up more often seems like it would be really useful because we're able to give armor to people around us, at least for that encounter. So that's going to be really helpful. Yeah. I pair him up with my clan Gauss Annihil Animator, the range fire annihilator. I guess the devs are less evil than I am. <laughs> were you just guessing? Were you guessing on that one? Ready overwatch damage or damage from cover. I feel this gains one AP when killing an enemy. That could be incredibly powerful. Minus two damage from range attacks. Gain one movement AP every attack received. Damage increased by against burning enemies, against poison enemies. Uh, aim shot range increase. Gain two movement AP when killing an enemy with aimed shot. 20% damage against unarmored targets. I'm just going to go with the extra damage dealt from cover. Seems to be the most consistent one. And poor Dindrin definitely needs to be in the cathedral. So we're not going to have her around for the next one. So uh, killing a target reduces all cooldowns by one. She definitely does that quite often. And burning enem enemies gain one less AP per turn. Holy crap. We can actually affect their AP. Burning effect is increased by one turn. That's going to be helpful too. That's super, super useful. So we obviously need to get her on out. Um, I want to take a look at the armor, though. Good old Evane now has an increase in armor. That's incredible. 
As far as our trinkets go, nothing new here. And he's like all epic out. This Evane's insane, yeah? That's nuts. Typo and autocorrect. Wait, mech, you have a PPC direwolf and the Gauss Annihilator. Do you even need the other mechs in your... <laughs> fair point, fair point. Well, holy crap. Well, the last thing I want to do, I just want to stop by the map and see how many are left so I can get a good idea. It looks like we basically have... Oh, do we have burial mounds again? Oh, no, we didn't do burial mounds before. And then I believe we've got dark wood, right? Forsaken Cathedral. So we have a, we have a decent amount. Well, bunnies, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I really, really appreciate you all cheering me up and, and hanging out. And it's just been a lot of fun. So I really appreciate it. Um, the next time that we'll be streaming is on Thursday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We're going to be back again with Battletech Extended 3025 Commander's Edition. Uh, picking up right where we left off, we've got quite a lot of firepower to our name. We're getting right up there. So hopefully, eventually we'll run across Tuki and that'll be really amazing. So uh, I'm really curious to see what kind of firepower that we can bring to that. Um, on the following Tuesday, I think we're going to be back again with... King Arthur and Knight's Tale will finish off the remaining. I think there's only remaining two side missions. And once we do those, um, I'm going to go ahead and get into what I was going to get into later today. I totally thought that we barely had any content left, but I was really caught off guard. I'm really, really liking this game. Archers are incredibly powerful, though, so I can at least see if they would be nerfed. But that having been said, it didn't start that way for me before the stream, but I, I always feel a lot better when I'm... Uh, when I'm done with the stream. So thank you again for hanging out, for making this really, really good, uh, a really good place to be. And I hope you all had a good time and we'll catch you on the next one. Have a good night, buddy.